everybody it is time everybody we got us a good week a long weekend but a good weekend off I mean good weekend coming up nonetheless I hope everybody is ready for it I hope you all are prepared for it going on everybody yours truly jay smoothie in the building i hope you all are doing well i hope you all are enjoying yourselves we are finally here everybody we are finally here it is one friday fights number 21 uh and actually this is the final one friday fights before the big event next friday the one that i believe features about three title fights the return of super lek at moit Dai. And shit, even a heavyweight title fight, which is pretty fucking crazy. Let me turn this shit off. And it looks like we are already jumping into our... Oh, yeah, we're already into the first fucking fight. We got two of these motherfucking MMA fights at flyweight and featherweight. Nobody of note, though. It is two Russians. Uzbekistan. I don't even know who the, the guy on the right. I don't even, they, they don't even know where the fuck he's from. Let's see. We got Pullman and we have Gary. I'll rain this bitch. Shout out to you guys. The UK representatives here up early and often. I'm about to say, I had a feeling all my UK friends would be up early for this. Because usually this is a pretty good time for a lot of uh, for a lot of people out and yet up to be up. This is a pretty good card. Of course, a lot of all these are pretty damn good, but this one in particular's got some uh, got some good names on it. And let's see. By the way, I added uh, I added three more little Nightbot commands there. KO, a sub, and of course the Riot one right there. So those commands should work uh, for the for the bot that's just floating around in there. We have uh, Dushiev walking in there first. I know he's from Russia somewhere. And oh, so good to see you, by the way, Fatara. Fatara says one Friday fight 22 next week. Biggest more tight event in history. Absolutely. Absolutely. I say, I'm not UK. Yeah, I said Europe. I said Europe. UK was for Gary. But, uh, yeah, technically Europe. 
But yeah, next weekend's next Friday's gonna be good. It's gonna be the heavyweight title. It'll be the interim strawweight Muay Thai belt. And then, of course, uh, the return of Superlek at Muay Thai, along with some other names they added, like, uh, let's see, who else they added? I think they added, like, Sam A to it. I think Sexon, no, I think Sexon is, is it this weekend or next weekend? I know I saw Sexon on a lineup, is it, if it's not this weekend, it's next, oh, okay, it is next weekend, all right. About to say, I knew he was on one of these cards, but Sexon will be back, who is one of the, uh, little prodigies there. See, UK's king of Europe, says Gary. Now, Magomed, Magomedov, very familiar name. I believe there's like, a, I think there's a guy either in Bellator or the UFC who has the same name, Magomed, Magomedov. He does look like all the other ones, obviously. Let's see, anything on either one of these two. These two look like debutantes. The Kurzik finisher, or the cross finisher, or a Kyrgyz finisher? I don't even know. He's from Kyrgyzstan, so at least we know where he's from, because it doesn't say there. And then nothing for him. Okay, so two debuts then. Two debuts. Let's see. Yes, he does. Yeah, I was about to say, he does look like the uh, the other Magomed, the Magomed off we know. How many of them are there, by the way? Let me see. Let's see. Magomed Magomedov. Let's see. There's the tiger. Is it this guy? Well, no. He the other guy's the Kurtz finisher, whatever the fuck it's called. Mag another Magomed Magomedov. I see two now. Oh Jesus! Oh my God! There's like all sorts of variations. There's a third one. And a fourth one, flyweight and welterweight, and another one. So there's like, Jesus, there's like six of them. At least six or seven, god damn. So I believe it is a common name. And hold on, let me... Boom, let's get the timer up here. Three, five... There we go. Let's go to round one here. There we go, round one. We're starting off with round number one early with Michael Madoff and Dewey Shave. Or Dewey Sheave. What's going on, Nas? Good morning to you, bro. Hello, everyone. I'm early for once. Oh, yeah. Very early, my friend. Good to have you, of course. Already they're going down. Right over the back with it. Looks like Dewey Sheev just rolling around right over the back of Michael Madoff. Let's see. Big fight weekend this week too. That's a weird time for me. Yeah, it's a lot of wild times this week, man. You ain't lying about that. One hairstyle in the deck. <laughs> Good knee for Dewey Sheev. To the back of Michael Madoff there. Another one for Michael Madoff. Do we have to spam in knees to the back of Mr. Mago made off? Another knee to the back. And let's see. Oh, the ref is like, okay, finish, finish. Ref already demanding fucking more action, even though it's a good amount of action now. Do she have just drags him over to the corner? Another knee for do I like these grounded knees. Love the grounded knees. These are completely legal. He's spamming knees as Dewey Shiev. He's taking full advantage of the rule, and I don't hate it at all. Now Dewey Shiev and Mago Madoff right back up on the feet. Dewey Shiev drags Mago Madoff to the floor. Tries to drag him, but they scramble. Another scramble. Mago Madoff tried to roll over twice to get him off. Didn't work, though. Dewey Shiev is now in side control. Now in full fucking mount. Yep, now he's going to whoop the ass of Michael Madoff here. Oh, this is getting bad for Michael Madoff. Dewey Shiev rolls over. Full body triangle. Control the back. Going to the body and the head is Dewey Shiev. 
one step ahead in the transitions is Duishiev. Magomedov struggling in this opening round. Man from Uzbekistan needs a uh, needs a response here. Trying to fight his way out of this submission. The crowd, of course, doesn't like this shit because they're on the ground. They don't like it at all. This is literally just one man trying to survive and fight his way out of a bad sub. The ref is probably going to stand this shit up because of one championship. They don't like this at all, and I got to be honest, neither do I. I will say, though, good stalemate from the two, but I need more. I need action. This is pretty slow. Yeah, ref is talking some shit, though. He is telling them to get the fuck off the floor. Or at least he's telling them to be a little more active. Active would be a good start. They're down to a minute 50. Fucking Magomedov looks like he's completely fucking uncomfortable. Now the ref is saying, come on, fight to finish, let's go. Ref making more demands. He may want to consider a yellow card here. If it, if it continues, that is. I'd give him about another 20 seconds before the ref should consider standing it. These two are literally at a stalemate. There's another submission attempt by Duishiev that is completely, that is completely, I'd say, off the mark. Ah, they scramble forward. Magomedov on the knees. And now Duishiev back with the knee strikes on the ground again. Really should consider spamming these. There's another one. Yep, there's another one. And there's more. These knees are perfectly fucking legal. Perfectly legal. Duishiev is all over Magomedov. Another knee to the head. Now another knee to the body. Spamming to the body and the head with these ground knees right now. More grounded knees. Now he's kneeing him in the ass. And then knees him in the body. Very slow looking knees, but they're getting the job done. Do we have going to win the round based off control alone? He's pretty much just holding on to the man, not letting him do anything. Do we have with a knee? Another knee for do we have. Magomedov trying to fight his way back up to the feet. Damn, big knee for Duishiev. Down to 10 seconds. 10 seconds to go. More knees on the ground for Magomedov. And there's the end of the round. Let's see, apart from the UFC, who has the best card this weekend? I'll go with Bellator. Yeah, Bellator has a strong card this weekend, which is uh, usually not like them, but they do have a strong one. Uh, Glory's card is okay, but it's just, it's just okay in terms of names and whatnot. But yeah, probably Bellator has likely got the best card this week in terms of names. UFC's is, uh, another mid-tier fight night. Bellator, this is one of their better events. So yeah, I'll probably go with them. One championship will, of course, steal the weekend in terms of entertainment, but in terms of just name value, Bellator has got, got the weekend locked up pretty much. Which is rare, because usually that doesn't happen. Usually they don't put on good enough cards to, uh, to, claim, to claim the weekend, but in this case, Bellator might, if the action can live up, of course. Round number two now is up. Let's see, boxing, very good. Uh, yeah, Tim Zhu is a good fighter, Ocampo, uh, is an action fighter, but with his style, it'll be an early knockout for Zhu, so it'll be, the boxing will be okay, but still, Bellator and UFC's card is better than the boxing one, the boxing one's carried by a main event. By the way, another takedown, successful for Duishiev, and Magomedov trying to throw up kicks from the back, but Duishiev is way too fucking strong. He's way too strong and way too dominant on the ground here. Maybe going for a buggy choke is is Magomedov off, off the back. Trying to go for it at least. Now, Dushia pops his fucking head out immediately. Now a hammer fist, now some knees. Dushia is being a fucking Kurd bla Kurdistan blanket or a Kurdistan blanket. Look at that, he's flipping the man. Literally flipping Magomedov like a pancake. 
Now he's holding on to his head. North-South choke, maybe? Ah, Magomed walking around on the ground, so he might be able to defend it. But wow, that looks tight. Duishiev's got it on. Nah, he abandoned it. Goes right back to side. Let's see, your time, uh, you see, yeah, Tim is Aussie. Oh, yeah, he is Aussie. Gonna be headlining that. Good to see you, Michael Jordan. I hope you're doing well. Got the, got the Friday morning crew in the house. Always a small crew, but a good crew. 3.15 to go. This one is all do as she have. You should have with some nice ground strikes. Good elbow for Duishiev and a hammer fist right to the body. Chilling inside control, spamming some strikes. Mainly Duishiev maintaining control of Magomedov here. Going down to 250. Magomedov is really struggling on the ground here. Really struggling. You think maybe he would have some sort of control off the back, but he doesn't have any. Do we have actually lets him up a little bit? He let go of him for a second, and Magomedov scrambled up to his feet. But do we have right back on the waist lock? Can you drag him back down? Yes, he does. Does do we have? They roll around, and do we have once again on top in the guard of Magomedov? Way too easy for do we have. Do we have just gonna control him now? I would love some urgency from Magomedov, but it looks like he he's kind of defeated at this point. Now the ref is saying, get up. The ref is saying, come on, be active. He's begging for activity, but I don't think he's going to get it. He ain't really going to get it as long as this do she have guy blankets the other dude. We would love some action, though. Cheers, everybody. Ref is saying, let's work to finish. They scramble for a bit. A couple of up kicks from Magomedov, and they're right back down. Next to nothing right there. I need some more activity. Now the ref is saying, stop. Injury time. For what? What injury? What happened? You got hit in the back of the head? Oh, for what? Magomedov saying he got hit in the back of the head. Let's see. Let's see. Hit him in the back of the head. Oh, yeah, he did. Three. Holy shit. Hit him about three times. Actually, no, make that four. Oh, damn. Yeah, he did it. And then five. Jesus Christ. And spamming them punches in the back of the head. Good Lord. Okay. Yeah, he, he's definitely going to be fucked up for a little bit. He's not lying. No, he's not. Those were five clear shots to the back of the head. Those are full-on clear. I can't imagine they're going to give him a yellow card. They're probably just going to let the guy recover. Knowing how one championship does with this shit, the only time they'll DQ somebody for it is if it's, like, really bad, which, of course, is really bad. This one's bad, but I, I don't know. Usually they give a warning or two before they do that. Yeah, that's what I figured. No card or nothing. Wow. He probably just warned him in the corner if I had to guess. And now they're back to standing up. Let's see how long this lasts. High kick from Magomedov. Magomedov thought about another kick. A kick there. For do she have and a punch. Jab from Magomedov. Uh, good spinning back fist from Michael Madoff. Down to just about under three seconds. Low kick for Duishiev. And a push kick to the knee. Low kick for Michael Madoff. Most action, of course, this fight has had. 
It's literally been a ground fest ever since, really ever since the opening bell. For once, just setting up low kick. Ten seconds to go. Michael Madoff with an ugly looking one, too. Just looping over hands that completely missed. Ah, uh, and there's Duishiev's takedown. I was waiting for him to fucking do that. And then that's how he ends the round, of course. Let's see. Good to see you, Mexican menace. Hope you're doing well. Good morning to you. Let's see if fight's going on. Yeah, it didn't look very hard to me. Yeah, they weren't hard, but unfortunately, they were to the back of the head. So he lost the position there, which sucks for him. Let's see, back of the head. He's not lying. Oh, yeah. No point or warning for that, at least. But he did lose the position. That was about it. Even though it didn't even matter because he ended up getting that takedown back anyway. This one's going to be all Dewey, uh, Dewey Chev. Literally 2 nothing, I'd say. 29-28 through two rounds. And there's the end of the round replay. Mainly a lot of laying and praying there. Then, of course, shots to the back of the head. Do a Shiev on the juice. Good to see you, ADFG. Oh, yeah. They are all enjoying the Thai supplements out there in, in Thailand, and he's definitely one of them. Well, at least he's one of them anyway, enjoying it. Already low kicks for Do a Shiev. He's just spamming them now. Right hand by Michael Madoff over the top. And Dewey slides with the takedown, gets him down, but Michael Madoff goes for a guillotine off the back, but he lets go of it immediately. That was smooth by Dewey He fucking glided on the ground there, even though his knees are going to feel that probably later on. That's got to be some nasty mat burn from that fucking takedown right there. That motherfucker slid across it. Oh, damn. The fucking ground and pound's going to be vicious on, on Michael Madoff now. Not even vicious. It's just going to be smothering, I should say. is probably the better word for it. Because all Dushiev is doing is in the guard, just hitting him right in the head. Going to the body and the head. The lumpany crowd fucking hates this because this is a Thai, this is a Muay Thai stadium and they're being subjected to MMA. The purists are, are not liking this right now. Another body head combo there for Dushiev on the ground. This is as smothering as I figured. The referee is on him, though. That referee is like, come on, do something. Be active. This man needs to be active on the floor. Laying and praying is not enough in one championship. In fact, they penalize you for that, for doing that shit. Couple ground punches there for Dushiev. Dushiev completely controlling Magomedov on the ground here. Not making it easy for uh, Magomedov to do anything. He can't even move because his head is like halfway trapped between the canvas and the fucking ring ropes here. And all Dushiev's going to do is pin him so he can't fucking move. But I'm waiting for this referee to stand him. Just don't do that warning shit. Stand him up. Even a, Is that Olivier Koss standing there outside of the ring being one of the rope technicians? He looks bored watching this shit. The one championship tie president won't be happy about this. Certainly take a note. I believe this is the debut for both of them. It'll probably be their last fight unless they pick it the fuck up. Within this last 2.30. If not, we're, we ain't gonna see these scrubs again. Yeah, this laying and praying ain't gonna do it. Now the ref telling them to get out the ropes. How about you tell them to fucking move? <laughs> How about you tell them to be more active? Only thing my guy's doing in terms of moving is dragging the other guy on the floor. And look at the guy outside the ring with his fucking arms folded. He's not impressed by this. He's like, what the fuck? And they pop up. Good hammer fist by Dushiev. Dushiev finally passes the fucking guard. Goes right to side control. First guard pass I've seen of him on the ground. He's had maybe a couple and scrambles, but just a straight up voluntary one. That's the first one I've seen. Now in full mount. Finish it. Now the ground and pound being turned up. It's being turned up now. Mongo Man getting a hit. Getting a hit. Go ahead and stop it. Go ahead and stop it. Thank God. Thank God. Excellent stoppage. He could have done that like two rounds ago, to be honest with you. Really could have done that two rounds ago. But at least he did it. Better late than never. Got it done within the distance. 
Don't know if I I wouldn't give him a bonus for that, but I will say thank you for ending the fight with a with a with a finish. I can give him that if anything. Oh my god, that ground and pound was yeah, he was getting his head knocked around. And he wasn't even defending all that much in the second round when this first started. Well, really in the first round when it first started. Could have done this maybe two rounds ago, but I'll take it. I will take it. Better late than never. Let's see, speaking of Roy, it's part from betting in the sport. Roy is roiding illegal in the West. Because you get them pharmacies in Asia just about anywhere else in the world. Uh, it's illegal in the West because that's how commissions want it for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, usually overseas, a lot of commissions don't give a fuck about drug testing, but for some reason over in the United States, in the United States of America, they, they care about a clean sport, even though it ruins everything, but I don't know. Uh, mainly just athletic commissions care about it, even though they shouldn't, they do for some reason. There's his victory. Oh, is that hat part of their custom? That's one fancy looking hat. There's the flag. No interview for him. Good, good, good. No interview. No bonus. Just get on out of there, my guy. Thank you for finishing it, but nah, no big moment for you. They might bring him back since he got the finish after all. They won't ban him. Maybe the other guy. Well, the other guy, they just got to find a striker for him, I think. Because he didn't want any part of the fucking ground. I thought maybe a guy named Michael Medoff would have ground skills, but not in this case. It's it. Uh, what's up, Meridian Heights? Good to see you, by the way, bro. Hope all is well. Cheers, everybody. Wasn't Mongo Med uh, been around for a while? Uh, it depends. Uh, what we learned is that in Russia, there's about, like, ten people named Mongo Med, Mongo Madoff, and this is not the Mongo Med, Mongo Madoff that we know. This is another one. Yeah, see, name Argo, 24. Unfortunately, this is not the one we're thinking of that's been to, like, Bellator and shit like that. This is some other guy. Apparently, Magomed Magomedov is a common name in Russia. <laughs> one of many common names, like Nurmagomedov out there. But this is a different-looking guy. I thought it was the same guy, too, Meridian Heights, funny enough. I thought it was the same dude, but... Nah, apparently they got a lot of motherfuckers out there named Magomed Magomedov. Learn something new every day. I definitely learned that. I thought that guy was a clone at first, but not even, apparently. Speaking of the weekend, by the way, speaking of fighters, speaking of Bellator, uh, I'll be live from Bellator at 7.30. Starts at 6, I'll do 7.30. We got Glory tomorrow, Glory Kickboxing, which will be pretty good. Plazi Bad and Osario. We got the UFC tomorrow as well. It's a late UFC card, too. Usually UFC starts at, like, 4 or 5 around here. Usually 4 or 5. This one starts at 7. Late as fuck. And then, head-to-head -head main event. We got Zhu and Ocampo. That'll be at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Sunday in Australia time, but uh, American time, 10 o'clock. On the 17th. A lot of names with off. Oh, yeah. A lot of names. A lot of people sharing the same names with uh funny enough too. Let's see one break in break country, he says Paul. <laughs> I'm about to say a lot of people are <coughs> Excuse me, a lot of people related out there. A lot of people related out there. And now we have Leonardo Casati against Aladet Nurmatov, another Chris Nazistani guy. So, two crazy MMA fighters in one card. That's interesting. Bellator stacked. Old dudes with their legend. I like it. Yeah. Bellator has got the better card this weekend. No doubt about that. I'm actually going live early today for Bellator. Usually, I don't do their prelims, but uh, I plan to go live about 7 o'clock, 7.30 at the latest, but I'll probably do like 7 o'clock, like an hour into the prelims. I won't do the whole card, but... I'll, I'll do some prelims because it's actually a good Bellator card for once. And it's a rarity because most Bellator cards are fucking terrible. Most of them are terrible. But this lineup they got going today is actually pretty good. Let's see exactly. <laughs> this is Volman. Now we have Leonardo Casati. Or, yeah, Leonardo Casati walking out first. Put this over here. 
put this over to the side. There we go. Set that up right there. It's going to be a big weekend around here. Let me guys know what you got. I got, um, I don't have any, well, I still have some rum left. Uh, probably going to go get a new flavor. Actually, when this card is over, I'll go to work for about four or five hours. Go to the dispensary on the way home. I did pick these up yesterday, which will be pretty cool to explore. Uh, this one's cookies and cream. Well, cookies and chocolate, anyway. Cookies and cacao. Uh, this one is Cinnamon Toast Crunch Mushroom Bar. And this one is Frosted Flakes. Full-on mushroom. Look at that. They're great. <laughs> It'll be a fun one. Now we have Nurmatov walking out. What's up, Spellborn? Good to see ya. So two crazy MMA fighters on one card. That is a fucking rarity as I see this guy walk out. What's going on, Granite? Good to see you, bro. Let's see, I love Friday says Rainy Eyes. Absolutely. Fridays are always fun. Always fun. I'm going to be going live early today because of how fun it's going to be, actually. So I'm looking forward to it. Oh, they got the fucking ref doing the inspection and shit. See, I got some rum, says Palmy. Good stuff, man. I got some, too. I got the, um... I got the Mama Wanna rum. I got it upstairs, though, because I was drinking it yesterday. Just for some Thirsty Thursday fun. Cheers, everybody. This is an energy drink I got in here to wake my ass up so I could do this, go to work, and then come back and party tonight with all of you great people. Friday's the best, says Nas. It is, bro. It's going to be it's gonna be a fun one today, especially. This lineup is not bad, either. Nemkov and Romero tonight. Sergio Pettis Pitbull. Corey Anderson, Phil Davis. Daniel James, a good heavyweight. Prelims got a lot of Russians on it. Jalil Willis is on it. Uh, let's see who else. Archie Cole, get Emmanuel Sanchez. Oh shit. Who else? Jordan Newman, Cody Law, Matthew Perry. Okay. Mike Hamill. All right. So it's a lot of who's who. A lot of Russians on this Bellator card, though. A lot of Russians. Holy hell. Almost Russia versus the world type shit. Leonardo Casati introduced first. Leonardo fought here before. He has 0-1. Martin Wynn uh, beat him by decision. And let's see. Nurmatov, never seen him. <clears throat> Believe it's his debut here. Let's see, hopefully Pitbull wins his Nas. That'd be big if he did. Here we go, round one. Here we go. Right, knock the fuck out. What's up, AJ? Good to see you, bro. Hope you're doing good on this on this violent fight Friday. Right hand, I kick for Kasadi out the gate. Not even fucking around. Already throwing big ones out the gate. Yeah, that fucking heart beating drum. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shout out to Pullman gifting a sub. And that one goes to Spell the Born. Much appreciated, Pullman. I always appreciate your support, my dude. And Spellborn's going to get that membership right there. Cheers to you, by the way, Pullman. This one's for you. Stand up for this one. By the way, big takedown by Nermatov, who already steps over in the mount. All 
Oh shit, they're doing a lot of scrambling right now. Good hammer fist for Nurmatov out the gate. Nurmatov maintaining that control. Much appreciated, uh, Pullman, when it comes to the donation, my dude. I took that big hit for you, my guy. Always appreciate everyone's support around this motherfucker. Ooh, big takedown there for Nurmatov. Kasadi acted like he was going to get a fucking armbar out of that, but nope. No armbar for him. Now Kasadi trying to roll over. Look at that shit. Ankle lock. No. Oh, Nurmatov got a hold of his leg. That's nasty. Oh, that's nasty looking. Is Kasadi trying to... And now Kasadi going for a leg lock? Yo, they both going for leg locks on each other. Nurmatov lets it go, though. Nurmatov stands up. Kasadi holding on to the leg. He's like, what the fuck? What are you doing? Hammer fist for Nurmatov. They both went for the same damn thing, man. Good hammer fist. Another one for Nurmatov. Good hammer fist. Ref says get the fuck off the rope. Damn near to fucking grab that fucking hand off of it. And look at Nurmatov. Nurmatov tried to get his fucking leg out for dear life, but Kasadi's like, no, I'm not letting you go, bro. Now we let him go. Now Nurmatov takes the back. Kasadi gets up, but this is bad for fucking Kasadi as he gets picked up and slammed by Nurmatov. Now he all over the back. He is all over the back. Both hooks are in. Going for the rear naked choke. By the way, since we have all my members here, I'll let the members take a vote. Uh, which bar uh, shall we go in first? We're going cook cookies and cacao, or cookies and, I guess it's cookies and chocolate, cookies and cream type of joint. We go Frosted Flakes. Or, do we go Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Which, which flavor do we go first? All three are brand new, haven't opened them yet. Uh, but I'll let you guys pick the first flavor I go into, so let me know. Captain Crunch, Frosted Flakes, or Cookies and Cream? Or the cookie flavor. I guess we'll call it the cookie flavors. Cookies and cacao. But uh, we'll call it cookies. Fuck it. Nurmatov with both the fucking hooks in. Kasadi standing up while Nurmatov is on his back. Trying to get the rear naked in is Nurmatov. Yep, there it is. Ar one arm under. He's like backpacking the fucker now. Now he's hammer fisting him while Kasadi's standing up. Now he leans back completely. And number top back on the back control. Holding on pretty good. Let's see. They're great. Frost. Uh, yeah. Frosted Flakes is what it's called. Frosted Flakes. It's like a cereal, basically. An American cereal. Same with uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, funny enough. Damn, they're all good. This is AJ. Uh-oh. Bad spot. Number top got the choke in. I think he's got it. Ah, Kasai tried to dig deep. That looks deep, man. Ah, he's fighting it, though. Kasadi tried to fight it, though. Ah, 10 seconds to go. I can't believe it. I thought Kasadi was done. End of the round. End of the round. So, Nas has a vote in for cookies. All right. So, Nas got a vote in for the cookies. Granite says Frosted Flakes. We got one in for Frosted Flakes. Alright, so, so far those two are in the lead. Whichever one, of course, you guys want me to try first the most, I will do that tonight. And I only say tonight because I gotta go to work uh, after this, but uh, when I go on early for Bellator, I'm gonna dive right into the bar. So whatever you guys voted for tonight, tune in and uh, we'll dive into it. Amazing rounds is Meridian Heights, absolutely. How do he survive ZDFG? That is an excellent question, man. I thought for sure Kasadi was going to get choked out right there, especially when he had the not just the hooks in underneath here, but when you flatten them out on the ground, they're pretty much done for, right? So a little shocked he was not done there. I'm I'm surprised by that. Let's see. 
So that's for oral use. Does it give it a nice buzz? Yeah. So it's a it's a mushroom. It's a chocolate bar that's basically got mushrooms in it. Is what it is. And yes, you get a very good buzz from it. Uh, basically, that's kind of kind of what you get there. One to three pieces. You're stimulating it. Four to nine. Uh, let's see. Basically, you you're mindful. And then you know, ten to fifteen, you're in God mode, and the walls are gonna melt. So oh yeah. They're, they're definitely the real deal. Good kick out of the gate, by the way, for Nurmatov. Good low kick for Kasadi. Good right hand for Kasadi. Low kick for Nurmatov. Oh, Nurmatov with a nice one-two. Tries to go for a clinch. I've had pretty good experiences with the with the bars, I should say. Pretty good. I'd say five out of five. Or ten out of ten, I would say. In terms of experience, there's a good takedown for Nurmatov. And now he's just dragging him back to the floor. Full-on backpack mode. Going to take the back. Oh, a knee to the side of the body there for Nurmatov. That grounded knee rule. They're taking advantage of it, and I like it. Oh, look at the rollover for Kasadi. Kasadi going for the heel hook. Hey, ah, that looks ah, that looks like it could be nasty. He's got it, because Kasadi's got the heel, but no, Nermatov's like, fuck that. You're not going to snap my leg. Scrambles out of it. They're back up. Nermatov takes him down immediately. Nermatov has a hold of the waist. Kasadi back up on both legs. Nermatov likely going to try to trip his ass and get him back to the ground. Yeah, already trying to kick out the calf. Drags him over to the ropes. Kasadi is desperate to stay up on his feet. There's a knee right to the to the hamstring there. Nermatov now drags him off the ropes and places Kasadi right back on the ground. Puts him back on his place down on the ground. Kasadi holding on to the body. Not playing no damn games tonight. Let's see. Shocked Amsterdam must have them pull me. Yeah, I actually am a little surprised. I obviously, you know, answered, you know, Netherlands got good shit, but I'm surprised uh, uh, they don't have mushrooms out there. Or maybe they do, and uh, Pullman's just, just never heard of it. But I will say, though, Pullman, if you ever want to try mushrooms, this is the way to go. The, the legit mushrooms out the ground, they taste horrible. But if you find chocolate bars, oh, that's the way to go. And they do work, to my surprise. Good work by Number Top, by the way, just controlling Kasadi on the floor here. Kasadi, to his credit, will go for something off the back, go for the heel hook, go for any sort of, like, you know, counter submission on the ground there. But other than that, not much. It's mainly been Nermatov controlling things on the floor here. All Nermatov. Nermatov just kind of looking up here, just wondering what the fuck else he could really do here, because this Kasadi guy don't want to fucking go away. Almost got him out last round. See, we have mushrooms and placebo all over Netherlands. No bars with mushrooms. Oh, wow. Oh, so you guys, okay, so of course, yeah, you guys got the stuff, but no chocolate bars? Oh, wow. That I'm surprised by. I see two MMA fights in a row. I know, right? Hey, look, I'll say this. I'm glad they put the MMA fights at the bottom and they only gave us two because after this, it's all Muay Thai and I'm so fucking happy to see it. These MMA fights on the Lumpany shows, they're hit or miss. Very hit or miss with these two. Let's see, a sweeter way of taking them. I agree. Sweeter and easier because, oh, the real thing tastes so bad. Down to 50 seconds. Hammer fist right hand now for Kasadi. One on the body, end of the head. I think a whole box is like four grams. Four grams of mushrooms and one like piece is like 800 milligrams, I believe. So it's, you you definitely feel it. No doubt about that. Go to the body, end of the head for Nurmatov. Nurmatov, another punch to the head on the ground. I need more though. It's it's very tame right now. He's just score. He's landing them to score. Ten seconds ago, he lands some brutal looking ones, but they're not doing too much damage. 
There's a good right hand for Nurmatov behind the guard. Another one uh, on the ground lands. And there's the end of the round. Very, very slow end of the round, but I'll take it. Nurmatov easily takes that round. Easily takes it. There we go. Let's see. I know the taste isn't something uh, anybody likes, but yeah, I got to make sacrifice for the heavy trip. That is true. That is very true. If if you can if you can stomach through the taste of a raw mushroom, oh yeah, it's gonna hit. Let's see peanut butter taste. Oh shit. AJ with a give to sub and gives it to Chase Bishop. Oh shit. Hey, much appreciated, by the way, AJ. Another gift to sub in the books. Pullman and AJ make it rain to give the subs in there. And shout out to Chase Bishop, somebody that's been around for a long time. Just getting the gift to sub right there. I imagine Chase Bishop's probably listening in the background, uh, if I had to guess. Because I know a lot of people do listen in the background. Because us Americans, uh, it is like way, it is way early in the morning for a lot of us. So Chase Bishop, shout out to you, my dude. And of course, shout out to Pullman for that. Cheers, by the way, Pullman. This one's for you, my dude. Oh, oh shit. I stepped on the fucking cord of my headphone right there. This thing's long as hell. Let's get that out the way. Cheers, everybody. Going shit with the ground about. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Stoppage! Nermatov got him out of there. I saw him get him down with the ground and pound, but oh my god, he fucking finished that shit right on time. Whoa! Okay. There we go, bruh. Hey, much appreciated right there, uh, AJ. I appreciate that. Give the sub. And of course, shout out to Chase Bishop, who I'm sure is listening in the background. That was nice. That was. Damn good timing. We got one KO, says I'm Dante. Good to see you, Dante. You're right about that one, brother. We we finally get one. We had a late TKO in the first fight, and now we get a TKO in the second one. So, both MMA fights, a little slow in the action, but nonetheless, got, got the job done. I'll take it. And by the way, everybody, remember, let me know tonight... Do I crack open the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Mushroom Bar? Do we go Frosted Flakes tonight? Or do we go with cookies and cacao? So far, one vote each for cookies and for Frosted, so let me know. Which one you want to see me eat tonight, that is. And tonight, I will be live for Bellator at... Starts at 6 o'clock. I'll go live at 7. I'm going to go live at 7. I like that card, so I'm going to go live a little early for Bellator. So I'll be live during Bellator prelims. Oh, shit. Two votes for Frosted Flakes. So we got one for Cookies. I think that was nice. And then Frosted Flakes. I know Granite and now Palmer cast one for Frosted. Frosty says Gaddy. Oh, shit. Three votes for Frosty. Let's see. Make a poll. Let me see. Do I know how to do? Let me see. Do I even know how to do that? Let me see. Let, let me see something. I'm going to go behind the scenes here for a sec. Let's see. How do I put a poll in there? If anybody knows how to make a channel poll for YouTube, let your boy know. I will put one in there because I've never actually done that before. Uh, let's see. Pop out. Timestamps. Uh, let's see. Oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I got you, folks. I got you. Actually, wait, let's put the animal room. That's a better visual. There we go. Which. Eat for Bellator tonight. Uh, let's see. Add option. Let's see. So let's go. Frosted Flakes. 
cookies and chocolate or cinnamon toast crunch okay all right let's see if that works boom all right everybody should be up there cast your vote for what i shall eat tonight let's see yeah out of 10 uh how do you feel about the bellator card that's a good one to ask as well uh, out of the Bellator card, I like it tonight, by the way. I should mention I am a fan of that. I'm looking forward to that Bellator card tonight. I, Out of 10, I'm actually going to give it... Um, uh, I'm actually going to give it a... Uh, hmm. Probably give it an 8 out of 10, if I had to guess. Let me see. Can anybody... Everybody see that? Let's see. Okay, yeah, you guys can see that. Okay, good. All right, so let's see. Let me see where everybody stands at. So, by the way, Skate, good to see you, bro. Hope all is well, my guy. Hey, I'll be I'll be live early. By the way, Skate, I'll be live early. Uh, Bellator starts at six p.m. I'll be live at seven. I'll be live one hour after Bellator starts tonight. So if you guys want to hang out during the prelims, I'll be live during the prelims. Uh, give me an hour though. Uh, an hour after it starts, anyway, since I'll be home at work during that time getting ready. But now, folks, we get into the Muay Thai portion of the sheet. Let's go over here. Three, three minute rounds. And by the way, if you guys see the poll in there, make sure to cast your vote, uh, for tonight as, as to what you want to say. Or as what you would desire to see, that is. Hold on. Got the fucking fake Lenny Hardit now. Two fights down. And about fucking, I think it's like 10 more to go or so. So let's see. What what are the votes for so far? So far, Frosted Flakes is in the lead. Uh, 67%. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is in second place with 22. And then Cookies and Chocolate is in, a, is in third place. Oh, shit. So it looks like Frosted Flakes might be the fucking move tonight. So far, we got, we're going to get frosty, it looks like. Idaho, have yourself a good day, my dude. I'll see you tonight. For all those watching Bellator that usually like to hang out during the prelims, uh, you can catch me here early for the prelims tonight. Normally, I like to do Bellator's main card, but you know what? Fuck it. May as well go live early for the people. That way, we can hang out a little longer on a Friday, because why not? Let's see, they need the bars in the UK. Oh, they don't have bars in the... That's crazy. That's real wild. I thought maybe overseas they'd have them, but wow, that's that's surprising. Prelims belts were live free on YouTube. I love that about them. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. That's literally, I'd say, probably the best part about, um, that's probably the best part about Bellator. I would say, like, one of the positives is that, like, one championship... They put their fights on YouTube, at least their prelims, anyway. And I think that's a smart way to. I think that's a smart thing to do. Don't put it on Showtime because not everybody has it. But at least on at least on like YouTube, you can kind of measure how many people are watching or going to watch tonight. By the way, Thong Siam is now in there. Thong Siam sounds like a new fighter. At least in terms of what these cards bring us. Yep, never seen this Thong guy. 21 years for... Sho Ogawa, you look new too. And he's from Japan, oh shit. Oh wait, you look like a Mortal Kombat character. Look at that fucking face. Oh yeah, my man looked like a murderer with that. He, he's got a little bit of the leech in him. He's got that murderer look to the guy. I like that. See, no guns, no drugs. <laughs> shit, you ain't lying. Let's see. Uh, I would make and take samples of work. <laughs> Shit, I don't blame you on that. Make a clap to AJ. You know it. 11 votes. Oh, man. Frosted Flakes is beating the fuck out of Cemento's Crunch. By the way, I'm glad you guys asked me to make a poll because I never knew how to make polls on this channel. But now that I know, now that I know, I will start to add more of those, actually. I'll start to put more Q&As or more polls, I should say, in the chat room or in the animal room. 
Problem with Showtime, nothing besides Bellator worth paying for. <laughs> that is very true. Oh, shit. Yo, yo, yo. What up, Dirt? Great to see you, my brother. I hope all is well, my dude. I hope you're doing well, my friend. And by the way, my guy, I appreciate you stopping by. By the way, it looks like Frosted Flakes is definitely whooping everybody ass. So I guess we're going to be going uh, Frosted Flakes with the shrooms tonight. I, I'm not mad at that at all. It is great to see you, by the way, Derek. Happy Friday to you, my brother. It's actually going to be a fun weekend. Uh, Bellator's card is not bad. Glory Saturday, UFC Saturday. Tim Zhu and Ocampo. I actually look forward to this fight because Tim Zhu really entertained me last time. So I imagine he's going to kill Ocampo this time. Ocampo got the heart, but apparently the, the, the boxing style makes me think he's going to get put down in about seven rounds. 90 and 27 foot thong, Siam. Jesus. Let's see. PFL went full of my lady wrestling. They make after a star. Fuck, they should. They definitely should, anyway. It's crazy to me that they put all that money in Francis and Ganu, yet. Yet, for some reason, they're really about to buy uh, fucking Bellator. If they actually pull that off, it just makes you wonder how much money they're going to be in the hole. And if they have any chance of making it back. Finally, Muay Thai MMA today so boring, says Fatara. I agree, Fatara. MMA today was not good for, for Lumpany. We need some Muay Thai to cleanse our eyes after that bullshit. All right, we go. Round one. Show Ogawa and, and a motherfucker named Thong. Yeah, people need something big, thong wrestling. <laughs> At the gate, show, well, Mr. fucking Ogawa, I should say, throwing some low kicks. Thong with a low kick. Thong and Ogawa matching each other. Body kick there for Ogawa. High kick for Thong. Low kick for Ogawa. Low kick for Ogawa, but he whiffed on that. Ogawa's actually the aggressor to start out here. Low kick, body kick for Thong. Thong with a 1-2 with the punches. Push kick for Ogawa, but a kick to the body for Thong. See, this is what I'm talking about. Nice step in knee by Thong. I like that. Little leaping knee right there. Fucking a little bit of a low blow, but it's all right. Yeah, ref, they fine. They Asian, bro. It's all good. You hit him in the dick, they don't care. They just keep fighting. Literally, like, you could, I've seen people in Muay Thai just get low blow, and they're like, alright, give me a minute or two, and then we're fine. But they don't even need a minute or two, they need like five seconds, and they're good. Okay, to the body by Thong, good left hand by Thong. Motherfuckers are warriors and shit. Low kick for Ogawa, three pace for Thong. Kick to the body by Thong, four piece by Ogawa. Ogawa with another low kick. Kick to the body by Ogawa. Jab by Thong. Knee by Thong. Kick to the body by Ogawa. Three piece by Ogawa. Another low kick for Ogawa. That one chopped away at the thigh a little bit. Body body shot, head shot there for Ogawa. In terms of the punches, high kick for Thong now. Bounces off Ogawa's head. Ogawa fucking whiffed on a punch, but he didn't whiff on the last two he just threw. A three-piece combo, but only two landed. Thong got his back against the ropes, but he doesn't look afraid. Blocks a high kick, eats a low kick to Thong, goes for an elbow, and now they clinch up immediately. Ref jumping in. A jab now for Ogawa. Push kick for Ogawa. Kick to the body for Ogawa. Kick to the body by Thong. Right hand by Ogawa. Good elbow by Thong. Damn, another elbow by Thong. Fucking caught his ass coming in. Good kick to the body. Oh, good kick to the body again by Thong. Ten seconds to go. Already more entertaining than the MMA fight we just watched. Good high kick by Thong. Low kick by Ogawa. Almost made him fall on his ass. There's that in the round. Easy work. Easy work. Frosted Flakes is running away with the fucking 
title right now. Whichever choice wins at the end of the stream, that is what bar we gonna I'm gonna eat tonight, at least part of it anyway. I'll make well, I'll make it my bar for the weekend. By the end of the weekend, that bitch will be going. If I do half today, half tomorrow. Cheers, everybody. Oh, there we go. I gotta give that first round a thong, by the way. I think Thong might have landed a little bit more, even off the back foot, but still very close round by the two. Ogawa did impress, though. I like the kickboxing of Ogawa. He likes to stay at kickboxing range, I notice. Go round two. Ogawa going into the high kick now. High kick by Thong as well. Both landing high kicks. Ogawa low kick. Right hand for Thong. Kick of the body by Ogawa. Low kick by Ogawa. Low kick by Thong. Kick of the body by Thong. Ogawa thought about going for a high fake, but nope. Settles for a low kick as well as Thong. These two kind of match each other right now. Pair of low kicks by Thong. A third or fourth by Ogawa and Thong. Good jab by Thong. Kick of the body by Thong and a good counter by Ogawa. Jab of the body by Ogawa. High kick by Ogawa. Low kick by Thong. Ogawa with a body kick. He's being very aggressive as Ogawa. Spamming a couple kicks to the body. It didn't quite work there. Good high kick by Ogawa. Low kick by Thong. Ogawa just jabbing him. Good. Three, four, five piece by fucking Ogawa. Jesus. Fucking beautiful. Now it's unrelated topics. Connor's in hot water again. Uh, let's see. Somehow he's beating all the charges. Doesn't seem to stick this man like John Gotti made a Teflon. Oh, yeah. Part of part of the, the tradition with Connor is get in trouble, uh, talk about a comeback, and then make the comeback to make people forget about it. So, yeah, this is just... All routine for Connor. If anything, this is just going to speed up his comeback because now he's going to need money for to pay off both the mascot and that woman who's trying to get money off him. Get one two for Thong. What's going on, Cayman? So yeah, if anything, this is just going to speed up Connor's comeback because that man's going to need money now. Damn, two piece for Ogawa. Low kick by Ogawa. High kick by Thong. Damn, jab by Thong right down the pipe right there. Now good elbows for uh for Thong. Kick to the body by Ogawa. Good overhand by Ogawa. He's just catching Thong before he get in there. Another jab by Ogawa. Right and dirty, says AJ. Absolutely. Good hook by Ogawa. That one hurt Thong. Another hook. Now a knee by Ogawa, another knee by Ogawa. Thong is like, shit, I gotta wrap up with this man before I get knocked out. Oh, kick to the body by Thong. Two, three, four by Ogawa. What the fuck? Why is Thong going for a standing head and arm choke with that damn clinch? There's the end of the round. By the way, it looks like Frosted Flakes is still in the lead. Cookies and cream, Cookies and chocolate. And Cinnamon Toast Crunch, both at 25. Make sure you guys leave your votes on your way inside. Oh, shit. RGN, Tiger Style, $5 for Granite right there. Much appreciated, Granite. Much appreciate the five, my guy. This next hit will be for you. Everybody that is gifting subs and donating, you guys don't know how much your support means to me. It means the world. And I am always grateful for it. By the way, after that round, I think Tong might have done enough to uh, make it a 1-1 type of fight right now. Ogawa. I'll, I'll give Ogawa round one. Now that I see. Actually, no. I'll give Ogawa round two. Thong round one. Ogawa, I'll give round two. Because Ogawa did kind of rock him there at the end and almost got a knockdown off of it. Here we go. Round three. Cheers, by the way. Granted, appreciate the five, my guy.
Good stuff. By the way, good kicks by Thong out the gate for round three. Good step in. Knee right there by Thong. Ogawa answered back with a three-piece, but Thong with a good counter. Fucking amazing battle between these two. Ogawa with a good one-two going to the body, into the head. These guys are putting on a show. Body head by Ogawa. Push kick by Ogawa. Ogawa is the aggressor, by the way, being the aggressor in this round. Tong having to fire a lot of these shots off the back foot. Ogawa. Three piece by Ogawa. Oh, good counter by fucking Thong, though. Ogawa comes back in for more. Two, three for Ogawa. Four, five. Oh, Tong's head getting rocked. It's getting rocked. That's the head rocker. Ogawa emptied out the tank. Off for the hooks. The uppercuts, the crosses, and Tong is still up on his feet somehow. What the fuck? He ate all of that. Are you kidding me? Majority with that was the fucking head, and he ate it. Tong is not dead. He don't want to die. Tong does not want to die. Body head again by Ogawa. Another jab, but oh, elbow by Thong. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking serious? Ogawa is teeing off on a Thong with a good elbow to survive. Thong is eating it. Hooks. More hooks by Ogawa. Good counter elbow by Thong. Another counter elbow by Thong. And I would knee and they tie. Oh, my God. This fucker don't want to die. Are you kidding me? Ogawa again with a good hook and uppercut, but a knee again by Thong. Thong wants to eat everything, and now Thong fucking throws him to the ground. Oh my god. Fuck, Thong is literally, his, tin is, his chin is made of titanium. This motherfucker don't want to fall. Throw some knees to the body now to Thong. The ref can't even separate him. Come on, ref, get the fuck in there. 40 seconds to go. Look at Ogawa turns forward again. Now some knees by Thong. Two of them to the body, and they, they just tie him immediately. Is This is insanity. Another leaping knee by Thong. Ogawa presses forward again. Leaping knee by Thong. Another knee by Thong. Hook to the body. Hook to the head by Osawa. And the knee by Osawa. 15 seconds ago. Ref is struggling to get him apart. Ten seconds to go. Good hook by Ogawa. One, two, three by Ogawa. Fuck. Knee now by Thong to the body. And there's the end of the fucking fight, man. Shit. What a fight. Thong did not want to die. Thong refused to die, folks. Motherfucker refused to die. He eating like leather to the head. He eating leather to the head. He really is, bro. He is eating so much leather to the head. Oh. How do you eat that? Fucking thong with the Iron Man ability. Ogawa, I believe, is going to win the fight based off of that, though. Especially the flurry in the final round. But damn. Oh, my God. No cardio. They're tired after nine minutes. <laughs> oh, man. They, hey, the cardio's out the window. They're just going on fucking hope right here. I don't know how they can last. They're just going on fighting spirit, really, that entire round. The Ogawa won. One judge give it edge the aggressor. Uh, thaw fight, not bad on the back foot, but one very dislike his style very much. Does that make sense? Yeah, they don't They don't like the, uh, the back foot fighters. They like the pressure guys, so Ogawa just might win it just off of that. Let's see. All three judges favor the winner. Cheers, everybody. Ogawa. Oh, they gave it to Tong! They really gave it to him for surviving? Oh, wow! Wow! Nah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That that don't seem right to me. I don't know how you win a fight for surviving. You get a medal, but not a fucking victory. Let's see, robbery round, dude. I know, right? That is a, definitely a robbery. I agree with that. He got robbed. Good to see you, by the way, Aunt William. But you're right, though. Ogawa won that shit. That 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 felt like a robbery to me. <laughs> I don't know if you can reward a guy for winning a fight just because he didn't get knocked the fuck out. I don't know about that. That was one-to-one, -one, and it felt like Ogawa won that final round. I don't know, crazy, robbed my Japanese boy. I know, right? They straight robbed that motherfucker. They robbed that man, bro. That's, that's fucked up.
Ogawa won that shit. He fucking won that. Let's see why? That's what I want to know. Why? Why do you give that the thong? I guess because of favoritism. My guess is favoritism. They they gave they gave the fucking they gave it to the hometown boy because that is definitely a hometown call. That man's head got knocked around like a pinball for the final round, and they and they roll him a winner. That's fucking hilarious to me. They, that's definitely favoritism. That's what that's entirely that favoritism. Oh yeah, a hundred percent, hundred percent favoritism. Give them both bots. <laughs> Shit, I wouldn't be mad at that. Something one nice. By the way, I think. Uh, hold on. Came and says something up here. UFC merciless giving gone another grappler Spivak. Yeah, he's gonna get grapple fucked in front of his people too. That's what's fucked up because that's in Paris. Once prospects no longer use full Dana White privilege, getting favorable matches anymore. It's true. Once once the UFC realizes they can't make money with you, they set you up to die and then kick you out. That's exactly what the fuck they did. They done set that man to die and shit. And what the fuck? The sun ain't coming out? I gotta turn my lights on? No bonus for him. That's fucked up. My man basically died for nothing. But then again, he didn't even deserve to win that. I'm kind of surprised they didn't give him a bonus since they already gave him the fight. Round went to a close but three aren't. Can't see. Uh, you can see giving Tom 2-1. Uh, but all three judges, not gonna happen. Exactly. It was either gonna be 2-1... to one, uh, Ogawa or 3-0 Tong, and that's exactly what they did. They, they're like, fuck it. Our guy survives. We'll give it to him. Good to see you, by the way, Dub C. Time for Blunt's knockout some protein the way it should be, my dude, no doubt. By the way, everybody, make sure you vote on the poll on the way in. Uh, by the way, tonight, today, everybody, a little alert. I said 7.30 tonight. I'm going to be going on at 7. So one hour after the Bellator prelim starts, I will be going on live. We're going on live early tonight, folks. May as well on a Friday. Oh, shit. Dub C, member for two months, says shout out to Jay for the consistent streams. Hey, man, I'm happy to do it, my brother. And I'm happy you guys are joining me. Always a, always an honor to do this for you guys. And you know what? Let's go ahead and load up. Now, due to my work schedule, uh, I can't take uh, the shroom bars right now, but tonight when I come back, we have three options. As you see, we got Frosted Flakes, which is in the lead right now. There you go. Frosted Flakes. We got Cookies and Cacao, or Cookies and Chocolate. Higher Ground. And... Another cereal that a lot of Americans are know very well, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I just copped these yesterday, and uh, it looks like Frosted Flakes will be in the lead for tonight. So tonight, so far, looks like I'll be taking that. By the way, let me turn my lights on real quick before I take that next rip, because the sun has not peaked out yet over here for some reason. For some reason, it is it is still dark as fuck. I think it's supposed to storm today. Oh, there we go. Zawiya. All right, now I don't look like I'm fading into the black there. All right, here we go. Shrimp bars at work, I know, right? That shit is way too strong for me to have at work, so I'm going to wait till tonight to hit it. But I'm going on early, so you'll get a lot of me as a result. Chocolate last week had me in a coma. Did a thousand milligrams fucking all day. <laughs> oh, shit. Frosted Flakes sounds fire. Hell yeah, man. I put a poll but at the top, by the way, so you guys could vote on which one you want to see me take. Frosted Flakes in the lead with 53%, by the way, so far. Cheers, everybody. That one's for you, Dub C. And let's see, up next we have Spain versus Thailand. One hell of a name. Da Bomb Portor. Th oh my god. Da Bomb. Wait, Dab. Oh, it's Dab. It's like taking a dab. Dabdom. Yeah, Dabdom Portor Tor. Tong Tawi. That is one hell of a fucking name. And my man is Xavier Gonzalez. He sounds like an American, not somebody from Spain. Well, actually, no. He got no. Nah, Xavier is a normal name, but Gonzalez, okay. Gonzalez, yeah, that's fitting. But that that name right there is pure Thai. Dabdum Portortor 
Tong to we. Jesus Christ. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers, my guy. So it looks like so far, it looks like I'll be diving into this bad boy tonight. And by the way, the bar is pretty big as fuck, actually. I'll give you guys a sneak preview of what it looks like. This is what it looks like, pretty much. It's a big-ass fucking bar. It is a total of 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 15 pieces, so it's a 15-piece bar right here. Let's see, names to dog. <laughs> Dab Dumb Black Sword. Quite cool name. Oh, really? Black Sword? I like that. Dab Dumb. So Dab Dumb equals Black Sword. I like that shit. Thank you, by the way, Fatara, for translating that for all of us. Let's see, the bomb gonna murder this dude, says Dub C. Names too long. White man named Xavier getting clocked. <laughs> Never heard of him. Oh, man. By the way, had these guys fought before? No, they haven't. Well, at least not here. So Dab Dumb is new. Xavier? Oh, he's not new. Lost a Kung Chai back in April. Okay, so one Friday fights number 14. So Xavier is making his return. 0 oh, 1. This guy, Dabdum, is making his debut. I will call him Dabwe. <laughs> oh, you going to the moon, says Dub C. Absolutely, to the moon and back. You know it, my brother. Tonight, we I am absolutely going to the moon. 20 votes so far. Oh, man, everybody's ready for tonight. By the way, if you are watching Bellator, I'll be going live at 7. I have 7.30, but I'm going to go live at 7. I think uh, I think 7 will be good. This is not a bad card either. I mean, Nemkov, Yoel Romero, Sergio Pettis, Pitbull, Corey Anderson, Phil Davis, Daniel James, a pretty good heavyweight against a motherfucker named Gokhan. Not Saki, unfortunately. The prelims are the prelims. A lot of Russians, though. One, two, uh, three, four. Four are fucking Russians. I believe there are more Americans. Let's see, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oh, wow, yeah, 12. They fucking littered it with Americans, at least, so they stayed on theme. But a good amount of Russians on the card. More than I normally see, anyway, on a Bellator. And now Xavier is making his way in there. Oh, this motherfucker looks like he's ready to go. He did lose last time, Sacrificial Lamb style, but I think this time we'll put on a better show. And cheers, everybody. I got my energy drink going and flowing for the weekend. And let me know who y'all got this weekend, man. I'm thinking Vadim Nemkov, maybe Pitbull. By the way, we're getting a wide crew for this. For Glory, I'm thinking Plazibot knocking out a Sadio in the main event. Uh, I think Vittori's about to get cannoneered, and my boy Armin gonna get back in that win column. And I think Tim Zhu is going to knock out Ocampo. We're gonna be doing that fight as well, so folks, you're getting a lot this weekend. It's a lot of, lot of fun. And he's 44 years old, destroyed his last two opponents. That's crazy. That means he's like a, he's like a baby in heavyweight years, <laughs> or no, prime heavyweight years, like, yeah, like 40, so wow, that's crazy. Crazy how Corey not Bellator champ. That's very true, Nas. You would think he'd be champion by now. At least at least Phil Davis like has, but I'm surprised that Corey Anderson hasn't. That is a bit of a shock. By the way, fucking uh dubbed I'm giving the whole wide crew right now. Look at Xavier actually praying and being very respectful. I thought he'd be like most foreigners be like, fuck it. I'll touch all four corners. Bangkok China down. Hey, shout out to you, Fatarda. It's good that we have some people from Thailand actually hanging out with us. That's fucking cool. Pitbull take him out. KO says Aunt William. Oh shit. Going for Pitbull tonight. Hey, Pitbull made the scale, man. Survived the scale. Look a little look look a very emaciated, but you know, that's just Pitbull weight cutting right there. I think he'll be I think he'll take out Sergio tonight. Vittori Vittori gonna get it done on decision. You heard it here first is Paul Man. Oh shit. So he's going for Mervin on Saturday. That is a battle of Israel Adesanya victims, so hopefully it's not a boring one. Now they are bowing in the corner, and we're about to get our next Muay Thai battle, which this is a little weird. I thought maybe the main prelim would have the white crew, but no, we're getting our white crew with our fucking second Muay Thai battle here. Three fights down, about nine left. 
is a catchweight Muay Thai battle at 126. Put my bars in there for now. Kickboxing record, Muay Thai as well. 60 of 15 for Dabdum, 75 fights. He's a rookie. <laughs> 75 fights is like rookie years. When you see them with three, 400 fights, that's that's a, a guy you don't want to fight. Xavier, let's see what you got. You're out of Spain. What's your record? No record for him? Wow, okay. All right, he's unknown. Oh, shit, with Connor's weird. And he's still not in your side. He's a mess. He is, bro. I'm telling you, Dave Feldman is somewhere licking his chops like, Hey, Connor, remember when you held that belt faced off with Perry? If the UFC, for some reason, wants to bag off... <laughs> I'm just fucking... But yeah, Dave Feldman somewhere smiling at this shit. Holding out false hope while Dana White's like, Oh, God, we gotta cover for this guy again. The UFC's going to get his ass in that cage, but it's going to be an ugly, ugly journey for him to get in there. That's for damn sure. Low kick for Gonzalez. Push kick for Dobdom. Oh, shit. Jab at a low kick. Let's see. Kano will finish. Vittori says, um, uh, says Ant Williams. So he's taking cannoneer. He thinks Vittori will get cannoneered, which I think will happen as well. Good elbow there for Gonzalez. Hook to the body by Dobdom. Low kick by Dobdom. Low kick by Gonzalez. And a jab by Gonzalez. Good jab and a low kick there for Dobdom. 1-2 for Gonzalez. Low kick for Dobdom again. 1-2 with a low kick for Dobdom. Hook it across there for Gonzalez. Oh, good uppercuts by Gonzalez. Dobbed him trying to hit him with the elbow, but it's off the mark there. Good hook by Gonzalez. Another hook by Gonzalez. Good one two there. Good uppercut by Gonzalez. One two by Dobbed him. Low kick by Gonzalez. Low kick by Gonzalez. One two three by Gonzalez. And then a low kick. He's chopping away at Dobbed him to begin. Dobbed him with a 1-2 finally, firing back. But Gonzalez is firing all of his fucking kicks and his jabs to begin this. Don't want to elbow that misses. Elbow by fucking Dobbed him off the mark too. Low kick by Dobbed him. Motherfucker with a dab doing it. There's the push kick by Gonzalez. Hook and a cross by Gonzalez, but counters by Dobbed him. Uppercut to hook by Gonzalez. Jab by Gonzalez. He's just spamming the jabs now. One, two by Dobdom. Damn, nice step in knee for Gonzalez. Dobdom got hit in the dick. Yeah, he got hit in the dick, but he's all right. Yeah, let him fight on, Rev. Yeah, he's all right. He's like, yeah, you hit me, but it's all good. I don't need a break. Another hook and a fucking knee. And look at Gonzalez with a beautiful fucking leg sweep right there. They say it's not legal in, in one Muay Thai, but they let it happen anyway. Oh my god, fucking Dabdom getting hit now. Look at Gonzalez. Gonzalez teeing off. The Spaniard is like, fuck this. A knee. Spam it punches. Go into the body now with it. They tie up. Dabdom is like, oh, fuck. Dabdom is fucked. Another hook and a fucking jab. Now a stepping elbow by Gonzalez. Push kick by Gonzalez. Ten seconds to go. The leaping knee by Gonzalez. Ten seconds. Hook to the body by Dob Dom. And there's the end of the round. Let's see. Crazy. Dana pays seven million a year for USADA. <laughs> That's so true. Dave is like, we don't pay him for USADA. You can do cocaine and fighter. Absolutely. Kate, fucking Dave is buying a mountain of cocaine right now trying to get Connor over there. Somehow. Connor always getting out of the gauge. He damn sure is. Every fucking year. At least one a year. Connor lost his shit. Can't take not winning for five years now. Sorry, I shit. It is sorry, bro. PFL bringing in friends a week late. Should have had him in the smart in this case last week. Exactly, bro. Everybody that was here last week when I uh, did the PFL stream, they heard me preaching about it last week. They should have brought Francis in there. The fact that they're bringing Francis in now, folks, it tells you everything. PFL don't know what they're doing. They really don't know what they're doing. They love to talk like it and present it like it and present themselves like it, but they don't know what they're doing. They got no idea. 
they're bringing that man in a week too late after people like me complained about it. They heard what all of us were complaining about, and now they're like, okay, we'll do it now. It's like, what the fuck? Fatada, Spanish has reached advantage using it good. He has, man. The Spaniard is up one nothing. Xavier is fucking winning this shit. Dab dumb. Better start uh, hitting this man like a dab hit. Now going with the jabs and the elbows. Another elbow. Another elbow. Another elbow. Another elbow. Gonzalez with a knee now. Gonzalez has a throw. Uppercut for Gonzalez. Hooks for Gonzalez. Hooks for Gonzalez again. Look at Dob Dob fucking tackles the man. What the hell are you doing? This is not MMA. Oh, boy. Now right back up. Dob Dob holding on for dear life. Good fucking hook there by Gonzalez. Low kick by Gonzalez. Elbow by Gonzalez. Spamming elbows. Uppercut by Gonzalez. Another uppercut. He's spamming him now. Good counter by Dob Dob. But look at this. Two, three, four by Gonzalez. Spamming him. Big time spam. Knee by Gonzalez. Elbow by Dob Dob. Another elbow by Gonzalez. Both lamp push kicks. Elbow by Gonzalez. More elbow cuts by Gonzalez. Oh, what's it by Dob Dob? Caught him flush. Caught him flush. Backed him up. Good cross now by Dob Dob. Elbow by Gonzalez and a good counter. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut by Gonzalez. God damn, he's spamming him and Gob Dom is eating the shit. This is fucking crazy. Elbow by Deb. Oh, fucking elbow hooks. Uppercuts by Gonzalez and a good counter by Dob Dom. Dob with a good hook. Dob with a jab is Gonzalez. Elbow by Gonzalez now. Damn, Gonzalez going for the hooks. Uppercut by Gonzalez. Knee by Gonzalez now. Ref jumping in there. Hook to the body by Dob Dom. Gonzalez throws him to the floor. Throws him to the floor. Good jab by Dob Dom. Uppercut by Dob Dom. Damn, good elbow there by Gonzalez. Knee by Gonzalez. And he fucking throws Dob Dom down. Uppercut by Gonzalez. 1-2 by Dob Dom. Elbow by Gonzalez. Elbow by Dob Dom. Elbow by Gonzalez. These fools are scrapping. They are, bro. They're going back and fucking forth, as AJ was saying, man. This is fucking crazy. Another banger. Fucking banger after banger on these cards. Uppercut by Gonzalez. Good counter by Dob Dom. Uppercuts again by Gonzalez. Good counter by Dob Dom. These motherfuckers are trading. They're trading just big shots. Elbow by Dob Dom. Uppercuts to the body by Gonzalez. There's the end of the round. That's crazy. Oh, man. That's crazy. Let's see. These guys hitting each other with clean shots. Someone about to fold. Dab better than round one, but 2-0 Spanish to me. Dab need knockdown. I agree, Fatara. I was about to give Gonzalez the same thing because he had a better round. Like you said, Dab Dom, better f second round than first, but still not enough. Gonzalez kept hitting that man too much. Dab Dom was countering way too much and getting backed up too much. Gonzalez, way more aggression, even though Dab Dom did land some good counter shots, but still. Gonzalez, way more aggressive. Way more aggressive. There we go, folks. Round number three. This is 2 nothing Spain right now. Let's see if Thailand can get a knockout. Or maybe they'll just get another gift decision, but we shall see. There we go. Okay, Owen coming. There we go. Oh, good hook by Dob Dom. Fucking elbow by Dob Dom. Now an elbow. Now a hook. Good knees for Gonzalez. Both trading him to the body. This is getting this is getting nasty. Elbow now by Dob Dom. Three, four, five piece by Gonzalez. Gonzalez pushes him back. Spamming the uppercuts. Good elbow by Dob Dom though. Fucking slapped him with it. Gonzalez right there in the pocket with him. No, El uppercuts like a motherfucker. Literally going for the uppercuts to the head. That's crazy. 
He's been spamming hooks and uppercuts, hooks to the body, uppercuts to the head. God damn. Oh, good hook by Dom Dom. Knee by Gonzalez. Another knee. Another knee. Another knee. Jesus. Fucking Dom Dom eating this shit. How is he eating it? Another knee. Oh my god. Another knee. Good counter by Dom Dom. Elbow by Dom Dom. Uppercut by Gonzalez. They're trading. Another knee by Gonzalez. Oh my god. Good jab. Uppercut now by Dom Dom. Knee by Gonzalez. Knee by Dom Dom. Fucking hook by Gonzalez. Another one by Gonzalez. Fucking knee there. Ah! I came by Gonzalez when he falls. Oh man. Bro, how the fuck are these guys still standing? Another knee by Gonzalez. These guys literally are just throwing until they got nothing left. Like a fucking Dom Dom now with some missed overhands. Good push kick for Gonzalez. Right hand fucking whiffs. And now they tie up. Ref separates them. Push kick by Gonzalez. Dom Dom just catches the kick. Good right hand by Dom Dom. But he pushes him to the floor. And the ref's like, don't do that shit, bruh. Uppercut by Dom Dom. Uppercut by Gonzalez. Another uppercut and a punch. Uppercut by Gonzalez. Three, four, five for Gonzalez. Another one. Another one for Gonzalez. But then fucking elbow to stop the spamming is Dom Dom. And they both go to the floor like it was a takedown. Ref getting them right back up. Gonzalez going to the body now. Actually, no, Dom Dom going to the body. Nice knee by Gonzalez. They tie up, almost fall. Both land some knees. Yo, how the fuck are these two even alive? All action right here. Good knee by Gonzalez. Another knee. Good knees by Kulab Dom. Or, uh, not Kulab Dom. Dom Dom. Going knee for knee. Uppercut now by Gonzalez. More uppercuts. Good fucking counter by Dom. One, two by Dom. Good counter by Gonzalez. They're going right back and forth, literally with the punches. And that's the end of the fight. Shit. Back and forth, back and forth, man. What in the hell? How? These guys are fucking insane. Thailanders are warriors. They look like warrior, bro. What a fight. Absolutely. That was crazy. That was crazy as fuck, man. Double punch there. Shit. They're showing him going back and forth. That might be Gonzalez, folks. Gonzalez should win this fight now. He should win it. As good as it was. It was nuts. No give. No give from either fighter. Getting both bots on a fight. If they both got bonuses, I'd be happy with it. I'd be happy with it. 3 0 Spanish. One going to bring Dab to fight again for sure. Hell, another back to the guitar. I agree. They should bring him back. Definitely an amazing fight. Bonus worthy, if you ask me. I see bonus. Yenju. What's up, Yenju? Says another robbery incoming. Oh, shit. He's calling it another robbery. Let's see. Give him 350k bots. Awesome. Both deserve a bonus. Another robbery incoming since Yenju. Oh, shit. He thinks Xavier's about to get robbed. Let's see. Judge scorecards. Judge one. Dab dumb. Gonzalez, oh shit. By split. Dom Dom! Oh no! Ah! There it is. Wow, they did it by Rob, they did it by split this time. They did it by split. They didn't even do it a unanimous robbery this time. Wow. Oh, there's that favoritism again, folks. That was a split. They did it in the form of a split. That is crazy. Give that other guy a bonus. What the fuck? See, robbery. Yeah, I knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. They just did it in the form of a split instead of unanimous this time. See, what the fuck? Let's see, the robbery. I know, right? They did it in the form of a split. Instead of doing it unanimously. Two in a row. Let's go one over robbery. I hate when the others rob us. I hate more than one of us has to rob the other people. I know, right? Let's see, yeah, yeah, and you were right. What the fuck? Exactly. He definitely was right. 
they did it in the form of a split, said he unanimous this time, but he was absolutely right. It was definitely going to be a robbery. That's fucked up. See, technically it was 2-0. Can't reward robberies. It was 2-0. to Xavier really should have won that fight because he literally just captured the first two rounds, but that's crazy to me. Cameron Wood robberies. Like Adorn Soul, the Charlotte Hornets, and his 13 year reign. Oh, they might actually win something good now without him as the owner. Oh, man. Spaniard deserves that. He did. They robbed his fucking ass. Oh, my God. What's up with this guy's nose? Oh, my God. This guy needs some fucking money for this. So, of course, they're going to give him bot for that. That That's no surprise. But give the other guy a fucking bonus. You're going to rob him. Give him a bonus. Split to make it less noticeable, says Yenju. Absolutely. You're right on the money, brother. You are right on the money. The first time it was noticeable with the unanimous, but this time, like you said, they went with the split to make it less noticeable. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. See, that's fucked up, says Ann William. It is, bro. They better give that man some... They better give the other guy some fucking money. This dude started pissing me off. I know, right? What the fuck? Let's see. Uh, we've seen him before, yeah? I think so. That face looks very familiar. Yeah, we did. He got knocked the fuck out back in April. Wow. Against Samenon. And this guy... Uh, Ghazali I've seen before. Ah, uh, one and one. One and one. Damn. Oh, they're actually interviewing Xavier. Give that man... Good. Give him a bonus. Give him a bonus. Give that man a bonus. Let's see. I run my pick 100. Give the Spaniards some love. Don't do cocaine, kids. <laughs> Job, it's good. Seeing another type promotion. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, he does look good. So this guy's one and one. What was Jahavid again? So one and one versus zero and one. Okay, so he needs a win in one championship, where this guy is one and one in one championship. Okay. See, so call them out on the fucking mic. Real talk, man. Call them out. Give him a bonus. Oh, he's speaking. Let's see. I feel so disappointed in the performance. This translator is very professional, by the way. Let's see. They know how hurt he is. Give him a bonus. Give him a bonus. Yes. Let's go. That's the right. That's the right thing to do. That's the right thing to do. They gave him a bonus. I. You know what? That's the right thing to do. If they gonna rob him, at least at least pay the man. Look at that. Now he don't look as sad right there. He's wiping away uh, the shit on his face now. Good move right there, one. Good move. That's how you do it. Fucked up they did it to him, but hey, he got it. What the fuck? He's saying something. I still would be pissed. I would be too. I still would be too. What what this tells us though is that he's gonna be back. They're they're not gonna kick him out. They're gonna bring him back, and they got him a bonus. Let's see, nice. He deserved it. I agree, bro. You have to do that for him after after him getting straight up robbed like that. You got to give that man some money. They they made it right. They made it right. Well, somewhat anyway, as right as they could make it. Unfortunately, that's a loss on his record, but it's Muay Thai, so it's like I, the loss ain't going to hurt him too much. At least one championship will let him back. Cheers, everybody. When you go to war like that, that loss hurts, especially when you know you won. That is very true, though. That is very true. You guys are right about that. It doesn't erase like the loss. It just makes it sting a little less, but you are right. That loss is still on his record. That robbery is going to be there forever. Let's see. Here we go. Ah, they got Javon. <laughs> I love how they have that picture of his nose just completely smashed. He probably going to fucking win, though. 
knowing how this shit works, you're probably gonna fucking win. So yeah, they're gonna kill mainly. Oh yeah. Good to see everybody hanging out here today. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. We're just hanging out. Like we do on Friday mornings, as you guys can see. Later on today, we're going to be hanging out for Bellator. I think the fight I'll be live for, because I'm going to be going live an hour after it starts. Maybe like fight number four, number five or so. Like during the prelims, I believe. Like early part of the prelims will be live. And then, of course, we got this beautiful main card. Tomorrow we have Glory Kickboxing, UFC, and then, of course, Zuano Campo. So a long day tomorrow, but a fun day tomorrow. Unfortunately, I couldn't put all four uh, cards in one stream right there because Glory will be done by the time the UFC starts. So, And I think I'll have a bit of a break in between. Should be fun nonetheless, though. And now we have... It looks, is that Javid out there? Oh, no, that's Elias. Or uh, Elias, my bad. Not Elias, Elias. Elias is from Malaysia, USA, and then of course you have it from Iran, the man from Iran. Fights are top notch, but they should rectify judging criteria. This is ADFGI. I agree with that 100%. They definitely got to fix that judging criteria because holy hell, we've seen two people get fucked over. Uh, we see two people just get fucked over. And they fought for their fucking lives too, man. Fight of their lives like that, and they just got fucking robbed. That's crazy. They definitely got to get their criteria, though. They got to get their criteria right. This dude looks like he's ready to go. Is Ghazali. I wonder who will be the favorite in this. Actually, I don't even have to wonder. I imagine Malaysia's is close enough so where they're like, fuck it. We'll probably give it to him if he wins. Or if he survives. And now Javi Big Deli. The deli open for business. His nose is full Jerome Le Banner status, but at this point, it's like his calling card, I imagine. Put the fist down. We can't see your nose. There it is. Yeah, that's... Th oh, yeah, that thing is still... Cur oh, yeah, he, he didn't get it fixed yet. I wonder how he can breathe with that. He probably can't, right? Can't imagine his breathing is all that good. Must be trash uh, with that fucking nose. Uh, the reason to get into music is to move out the hood. Big Deli Sandwich. <laughs> it's going to be Frost J. Uh, you might pop him right now. <laughs> oh, man. If I didn't have to work like uh, in about two and a half hours, I absolutely would pop them right now. I am, But I am going extre live extremely early for Bellator. So I think that'll make up for it. <laughs> but you're right. Frosted is about to win. Actually, it pretty much is winning. Let's see, almost an hour, 20 people. Oh, yeah. By the email, Chatri, a scathing email. <laughs> oh, I hope you curse his ass out. Big Deli getting checked out. Big Deli is a big hitter. And by the way, we are almost done with our preliminary because our final prelim is after this fight. And then we go into the rest of the card. Uh, a lot of Thai on Thai violence. I believe that the whole thing. Except for the co-main event where they got some guy, Songrak from Burma. And I believe Burma is where fucking um, my boy An Lung Sang is from, funny enough. So now Big Deli inside that ring. Let's get it going. Oh yeah, Frosted Flakes is whooping that ass. Let's get that out of here. CJ, if they see you making uh, even a better salesman, oh, no doubt. Let's see. Out of, the, out of the blue corner. What is his record? No record for Elias? Wow, okay. No record for Elias. That's fucked. It's one of those Bellator cards. It's one of those Bellator cards better than UFC week. Oh, yeah. Bellator's card tonight shits all over it. I'm actually going live early for Bellator. It's so good. Java Lion Big Deli. Here we go, folks. 
Songwreck, live in Thailand, train like Thai, very familiar face to me. Oh, wow. They may as well put him from there if that's the case. May as well be Thai on Thai violence for the whole card then. We may as well label it that. They touch gloves and let's go. Second to last prelim, everybody. After this is our main prelim, then we get into the main card where it's tie on tie violence. And at this point, we're going to see where the real favoritism is. What's up, Bello Jojo? Great to see you, bro. One champion they're going hard with the sad stories. No doubt about it. Muay Thai, one of the saddest sports and combat sports, but it gets the job done. Good hook to the body by Ghazali. Already Ghazali and Big Deli going at it. Big Deli literally dumps Ghazali to the floor. Big Deli is serving up knuckle sandwiches early on. Low kick for Big Deli now. There we go. Both swimming low kicks. We're getting the kicks in there. One, two by Big Deli. High kick by Ghazali. Misses the mark. But a good jab by Big Deli. Low kick by Big Deli. Ghazali back with the pressing. High kick by Big Deli. No, I'm sorry. Uh, Ghazali, my bad. Big Deli with a low kick. Ghazali with a jab to the body. Low kick by Big Deli. Ghazali with a spinning back kick and a kick to the body. Kick to the body by Big Deli. Just misses the mark. Good jab by Big Deli. And a good knee. Who do you think gives us a more entertaining Bellator who are on their way to the funeral or PFL? Oh, Bellator. No question. Bellator has the better card tonight. Only thing PFL has is France is showing up a week late. That's literally all they got. That and Maurice Green being cornered by John Jones, but Maurice Green is a failed fighter and he's fighting a bum. And the fact that's the main event is pretty sad, so I gotta give it to Bellator tonight. A piece by Ghazali, elbow by Ghazali over the top. Oh shit, one, two, three. You get that five dollar day. Oh yeah, I got your donation, brother. I gave you a um I actually gave you a hit earlier for the five dollar donation. So yeah, I got it earlier. Yep. Let's see. Oh, can't see it because of the green screen. Yeah, there it is. Tiger style. Yep, I gotcha. You take down there by Ghazali. Low kick for Ghazali. High kick for Ghazali. Low kick for Big Deli. Three piece by Ghazali. Go into the body, into the head. Damn, nice elbow for Ghazali. Meeting Big Deli in as Big Deli tried to charge him with a combo of his own. Good push kick by Ghazali. Almost hurt Big Deli there. Goes in for a leaping kick, but it doesn't work. I like Ghazali's uh, willingness to go for the kill there, but it didn't quite work work out. Both men just trying to keep distance, well, keep manage of the range, I should say. They're kind of trying to manage their timing here. Good elbow by Ghazali. Now a knee for Ghazali as he steps in with the clinch. 15 seconds to go. Good push kick by Ghazali. Low kick by Ghazali. 10 seconds to go. Excellent work. Kind of slightly lean. Maybe Ghazali. Oh, wow. What the fuck is Big Deli doing? Lifting him and throwing him on the ground like that with a single leg. And there's the end of the round. Not a bad first round for both. Entertaining, maybe slight for Ghazali, maybe. Let's see, cool, my bag and nice coffee. Oh yeah, do your thing, man. It's early in the morning for us in America. There was the trip by Big Deli, fucking threw Ghazali to the ground. Well, at least tried to there, kind of braced himself a bit. Ghazali had more urgency, was pressing forward a little bit more. Not bad, though, for, for either fighter, really. Bellator car better. You have seen how horrible close fights. Oh yeah, Bellator has more name fighters in their lineup than the UFC. The UFC's pretty good. They've got they've got good names there. Bellator's got more names probably on it. Both are definitely better than PFL though. Both are way better than PFL. Damn, one, two, three for Ghazali. Now a jab for Big Deli. Big Deli ties up. Good knee for Big Deli. Ghazali with a nice high kick. Beautiful high kick. And what the fuck? We got a low blow? What happened? 
What are we doing, ref? What are we doing? We're having a conversation. Now, yeah, I was about to say, fight on. This guy's having a whole conversation about nothing. Low kick by Big Deli. And a counter by Ghazali. Overhand for Big Deli. Good overhand by Ghazali. Ghazali with a kick to the body. Hook by Big Deli off the mark. Ghazali with a low kick. Big Deli with a low kick. Damn, spinning back fist by Ghazali. Hook to the body and the head. Oh shit, Big Deli charging in. Elbow for Ghazali. Kick to the body by Ghazali. Knee by Ghazali's there. Ref says box. Low kick, high kick for Ghazali. Two piece by Big Deli. Damn, hook by Big Deli was big, but off the mark. Ghazali press it forward a little bit more. One, two for Ghazali. Good hook for Ghazali now. Damn, step in fucking elbow for Ghazali. That one hurt. They separate box. Keep the body by Ghazali. Low kick by Big Deli. One, two by Ghazali. Good jab by Big Deli. One, two now by Big Deli. Good low kick for Ghazali. Low kick for Big Deli. Jab to the body by Ghazali. Good jab by Ghazali. Spinning back fist off the mark. 1-2 by Ghazali, but down goes Big Deli. Fucking slip there. Name value, you well, old body tree. <laughs> Absolutely. Jade, do you have clients who watch your streams? Uh, surprisingly, no. And a lot of them do not even watch mixed martial arts or combat sports. A lot of them are lame. I know one or two that'll watch if, like, Connor's fighting or some big boxing fight's going on, and they'll, they'll check and see what's up over here, but for the most part, not really. Ghazali with a good clinch and a good knee for Ghazali. I like all promotions this weekend, morning, and tonight. Yeah, there's some good, some bad. Some good, some bad. Not one of the better fight weekends, but it's better than nothing. Good one two for Big Deli. One two for Big Deli. I kick for Ghazali. And there's the end of the round. And to say maybe one to one, maybe a little slight edge to Big Deli there, but not not a bad fight so far. That was a big round for Big Deli though. I could see one to one. Like Big Deli definitely took the second round. Ghazali, I kinda gave him the first. I'm thinking one to one. Maybe two zero if you had Big Deli, but Big Deli definitely uh in the lead in terms of momentum. See Glory tomorrow on UFC. Yeah. Glory is okay. Two title fights, two interim title fights. It's it's okay, you know. Not one of their stronger cards, but that'll be like later on in the year. Here we go. End of the round. Final round. Here we go. Low kick by Big Dad. What the fuck? Eye poke. Jesus. Immediate eye poke. Big Deli gets poked in the eye and their clock is going to keep running. To see, close the poll. Jay stopped the count, says Pullman. Yeah, I'll close in a minute. Let's see. What are they going to do here? I don't even know if their clock is still running. They, they love to do this shit where they take the clock away while it's running. And then the time will be magical after that. Alright, now they're back. But what the fuck? Big Deli choke slamming him. What the fuck is that? You like catch the kick and then you choke slam the guy. Another one over Ghazali and what the fuck? They're just like tying up with each other. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to let their clock run down. They have a magical time. Two thirty five. I'll let it run down a little bit to mine. Low kick for Big Deli and Ghazali. Good right hand for Big Deli. Spinning elbow for Big Deli. High kick for Vitara. Damn, good high kick there for Vitara. I mean, for, uh, not Vitara, but fucking Big Deli. Good one-two there for Ghazali. 
I don't know why I said Vitara. I guess I was thinking of, thinking of another tight name. Denise for Ghazali. And the ref's going to separate them. Glad you guys are having fun in there. Not a bad fight. Big Deli's firmly in the lead. Let's see. There we go. Down to a minute 40. What the fuck, ref? We're having like a whole extended conversation with him. By the way, their clock is way past mine now. But it's all good. We are pretty much done with this fight. Or we're in the final round anyway. Good elbow now for Ghazali. Good knees now for Ghazali. Deli Smokey with his cold cuts. <laughs> I know, right? Good hook for uh for Big Deli. One two for Big Deli. Uppercut for Ghazali. Elbow for Ghazali. Both standing in the center. Leaping Superman elbow attempt by Big Deli. Not there. And they tie up immediately into the ropes. Ref saying, come on, break it up. Down to a minute 50. High kick for uh, for Ghazali. One, two for Big Deli. Pretty much almost done. Oh, shit. They break away. Oh, almost did. Good elbow for Big Deli. Elbow for Ghazali. About 30 to go. High kick for Ghazali. Into the body for Big Deli. Jab for Ghazali. Low kick for Big Deli. 20 seconds to go. Right hand for Big Deli. They have cold cuts in that round. I hope they do. They got to have something for the combat. That fucking heat out there. Hit to the body. Oh, high kick by Ghazali. Missed. And there's the end of the fight. End of the fight. Not bad. Not bad. Not a bad fight. The show in the replay. Showing these guys just swinging at each other, man. Shit. Might have to lean Big Deli. A little more aggressive for Big Deli. Because Ali did have a good final round, though. I don't hate that last round. Let's see what the judges are going to say here. Let's see. All three judges have called it. Oh, they gave it a Ghazali. Wow. Wow. Lean Ghazali. Oh, wow. That was a close fight after all. Can't call that a robbery, though. That was pretty close. Ghazali got that shit. And up next is our final prelim of the day, at least for one championship. And thank goodness next week is a big card. Another bias decision. <laughs> oh, man. I can see it. A lot of these decisions are going to be very interesting today, at least for at least for this card it will be. Yarapa and Antar. See, cheers to Zan William. Absolutely, cheers to you, bro. You guys, U.S., Ben, Iran, Fighter, Red. I see a lot of them here, but not in the U.S. based like MMA, not at all. I have no idea if they did. I know in the UFC they did it, like in the UFC and shit, but I don't know about other sports terms of, um, in terms of Iranian fighters. I think the UFC just lets everybody in, but maybe like in boxing or something they do that, but not in MMA. Cheers, everybody. By the way, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, everybody. I will be right back.
All right, we're back. And now we have, it looks like, Anzar out first. Let's see. Is this guy, is this guy new? Let's see. Yes, he is brand new. Never seen him before. Looks like he just visited a place with sun for the first time, too. Yodafa, we know. 3-0, and though. Knockout. TKO and a decision. He's gotten all three. Knocked out one guy, won Friday Fight 6. Got a TKO on one Friday Fight 12. And then one Friday Fight 7. Got a decision. Good to see you, by the way, Kanaka. Aloha, my brother. Oh, ball as well. So, wow. Got all three. And let's see. TKO was in the first round, 2 minutes, 20 seconds. The KO was in a minute, in 30 seconds of round two. So he is an early type of type of finisher. Boom. And by the way, folks, remember tonight I will be live early for Bellator. Bellator starts at six. I'm gonna go live about seven o'clock. I might I'm gonna I'm gonna switch the time to seven fifteen just in case I need like five or ten minutes to get ready. Uh but yeah, 7 o'clock will be the aim tonight. I'll be live early during the prelims. Then, of course, we have Glory tomorrow in the UFC. Uh, and we also have Tim Zhu and Carlos Ocampo for the interim WBO Super Welterweight title going out Saturday night as well. So quite a bit on Saturday. It's going to be a fun day Saturday and, of course, a fun night tonight. I'll be live at 7 p.m. I hope you guys are hanging out. One of Bellator's better cards, I'll say that. Probably the best one they've put on in a little bit. In a, in a good bit. Now we have Yoda Fa walking out. The the obvious favorite is everybody is screaming for that man in Lumpany right now. Thailand versus Belarus. This should be good. Nemkov loses to a five belt. Finally says Granite. So he's picking Yoel tonight. Should be a good should be a good main event. I'll put up a poll tonight, see what everybody thinks. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see how that goes down. And oh my god, the Schna is on the guy that is doing the cutman stuff. One of the longest beaks you'll ever see in your life. Let's see what's up, Zach. Is PFL thinking about buying Bellator? Yes, they are. It's PFL buying Bellator. Is is the discussion or the rumor anyway? And Yodafa enters the ring to a nice ovation. And now is our main prelim of the day. After this is one lumpany. Should be a good one. I hope it's Bellator. We need a limbs. Uh, it's actually PFL buying Bellator. Bellator's uh, the one on the market, which is good because Bellator sucks too. They need to be bought by somebody. But unfortunately, two bum promotions buying each other can't be good for anybody. But we'll see. Antar Kasim or Kasim and it is first. No record for this guy. Another unknown. And what's the record for Yoda Fa? Let's see. 63 and 9. Not bad. Still rookie numbers in Thailand. But that's still damn good. Not complete rookie, but on his way up. And he's only 19 years old as Yoda Fa. Yeah, only a rookie in the game. 63 and 9 at 19. Just, that's rookie shit. But that means he's on his way up. He's like a prodigy. It's prodigy level. Touch gloves. And here we go, folks. Main prelim. Here we go, round one. Main prelim. He touched gloves. 
Yod Poopa. I thought it was Yodafa. Fuck it. Yod Poopa. Load kick by your papa. Kassam only has one kickboxing sock on. I guess that means his other is, like, one of his ankles must have been fucked up or something. The high kick for your papa. Damn, papa would have won too. Kassam with them hands up high. The ref already yelling box. Kassam needs to throw something. Your papa being the aggressor. Those are kick to the, uh, punch to the body, kick to the body. Kassem's done nothing. Good job for Yodafa. Or Yodapapa. Low kick for Kassem. By the way, old boy is tall as hell. Kassem is a fu- or Kassem is a fucking bean pole here. One, two by Yodapapa. Yodapapa, my bad. Thailand, small record for Thai. Yeah, man, he's a rookie in the game. Yodapapa noodles. <laughs> this is Kevin. Oh, shit, that's funny. <laughs> Hey, both touch gloves. Push kick by Kassam being very, very slow with his delivery on the strikes. Output very slow, too. You can tell it's his first fight here. He's fighting like he's nervous. It's Kassam. Yod Poopa is like, I'm going to take my fucking time before I whoop your ass. Yod Poopa needs to get it on the inside, though. And I can tell he wants he wants to get it on there because Sam got a long ass fucking reach. Good push kick for him. Low kick now for your papa. Beautiful low kick, chopping away at the long fucking stems. And then there's a one two for your papa. Get to the body by your papa. One two three four by Sam. But shit, your papa with a counter. Yeah, they turn it up now. One two the low kick by Sam. Good four piece for your papa. Low kick by Yod Poopa. Kick the body by Yod Poopa. Kassem cornering him. Three piece by Kassem. One two by Kassem. One two by Yod Poopa. One two to the body. One two counter by Yod Poopa. One two three and a low kick by Kassem. One two and a low kick by Yod Poopa. One two three by Yod Poopa. Cook to the body by Kassem. Excellent counters and a three piece for Yod Poopa. One, two, the. Oh! Kassem down to a fucking knee! Yod Poopa put that man down! Kassem back up, but oh man, he fucking floored that man down to a damn knee! Standing eight! Ref says, come on! Kassem didn't even put his damn hands up. There's the end of the round. <laughs> fucking Bell saved his ass. Saved that ass. He reminds me of Rod Tang. He throws a with heat, says Dr. Smegma Jones. Great to see you, Doc. Hope you're doing well, my brother. You're right. He does have that Rod Tang delivery the way he throws. Ooh. Where was the one that knocked him down? Let's see. That was off the back foot there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, that was the right hand. That got his ass. Yeah, it hits hard. I see people have been Corey to beat Umar. Tell me they're casual. Don't tell me they're casual. Umar never lost some rounds. I'm going to start now. Well, it's a lot of people hoping and praying for Sanhagen to win. That's what a lot of those predictions are based off of. A lot of them are based off of hope. Let's see. Yod hits hard. Yod walking through. Kassam says, William, he absolutely is. I had a feeling he'd piece up this bigger guy. This bigger guy looks nervous to be in there. He's very nervous to be in there with Yod Poopa. Round two. Here we go, round two. That one goes to Yo Poopa easily. Right on the temple, yes sir. That landed a flush on his temple. Low kicks out the gate for Yo Poopa. One, two, three for Yo Poopa, but Kassem with some good counters. Kassem with another good counter. Low kick and a three piece for Yo Poopa. That's a down with a body shot. That's not a slip, ref. He fell. Oh, wow, hit him with the body and the man fell down. But he's like, nah, we'll just call that a slip. He wanted him to be in agony there. I get it. Four piece and a low kick for Yo Poopa. That's technically a knockdown, but he's like, nah, not brutal enough. He wants Kasem to die here. Yo Poopa did slip right there, though. That's a slip. They reset in the middle. Yo Poopa being patient, good punch and a low kick for Yo Poopa. 
damn, another torching fucking punch right there. Just, damn, another punch and a low kick for Yopupa. He's being fast and brutal with the delivery. Kasem not fast enough. Those kicks are not landing. Even from long distance with the long legs. Good overhand and a low kick for Yopupa. One, two for Kasem. Jab for Yopupa. High kick for Kasem. Overhand for Yopupa. Yopupa being very aggressive. Low kick on Kasem. There's a three piece for Yopupa. By the way, there is the sun now peeking out my window. Late as shit. But at least I finally peeked out. One, two for Yopupa. Low kick now for Kasem. One, two for Yopupa. One, two for Yopupa again. Four piece for Kasem. One, two for Yopupa. Kasem now fighting along the ropes. He's getting backed up and bullied here a little bit. Trying to go to the body and go to the head with it. Not enough as Yopupa still walking him down. One, two for Yopupa again. Kasem acting like he's a man, but no. Oh, that one hurt him. Four piece for your papa. Kasem is hitting his own chin saying, hit me. Yeah, you don't really want that, my guy. You don't really want it. Even if you say you do, you don't want it. Jab for your papa is there. Oh, high kick for your papa, but a fucking low kick for Kasem. Fucking chops him down 10 seconds ago. Left for your papa. Good job for Yopupa. 1 2 now for an Antar. Fucking get set with a nice punch. Yopupa with a good counter. There's the end of the round. Good shit right there. Everybody in the animal room having fun. Bright and early. Nice and early. A chill little card before we get on with the action tonight. What's crazy about these cards is it usually produces the best action, but always has the lowest viewership. I never understand it. But then again, if it was on a Saturday morning, I bet it would get a lot more than on a Friday. Because it's hard for a lot of people on a Friday. Damn, there was a leg chop down there. Kasem with a much better round. He doesn't look as nervous now. Looks like he's settled in a little bit. Go to Paul with 16. When the pandemic began, what the fuck? <laughs> How about that? Pandemic fucking started. My man was just starting life. Or at least starting teenage life. That man was still fighting for money, probably. Probably had to find, like, a underground to fight. Because he definitely didn't have an arena to fight in during them years. That's crazy. And now right out the gate. Oh, fuck, Kasem talking all that trash. Don't talk that trash and I'll do nothing, Kasem. Kasem with a four-piece. Four-piece of slip and rip. Good jabs for Yoda fall, but counters now for Kasem. Good counters coming in. Down to 230. High kick. Oh, good jab for uh for Kasem. One, two, three, four for Kasem, and he dropped Yoda Fa to a knee. Oh, it's a knockdown. What? Wow. He went to a knee and popped up. They called it a knockdown. Wow. One apiece now. Wow, good level ever Yoda Fa. I'm surprised they called that a knockdown. Uppercut. Hook now for Kasem. Right half for Kasem now. Ooh. Oh, right hand for Kasem. Kasem walking him down. Three, four, five. Yoda for fighting his way out of the corner. Kasem back on it, though, with elbow. Low kick for Kasem. Hook to the body. Jab to the body for Kasem. Ref saying time for what? What? Oh, they're bringing in the doctor for Yoda for his face. He's cut down the eye. Here we go. Low kick for Kasem. Wow, low kick for Kasem. Jab for Kasem, but a good counter by Yodafa. 
Loki freaking seven, but one two by Yoda Fa. Just fire him back. Ooh, one two by Yoda Fa. Fucking beautiful sting on that punch right there by Yoda Fa. Yoda Fa trying to walk out Kasem now, even though Kasem firing off shots. Hey, Kasem able to get out of the corner. I'm shocked. Yoda Fa back on the gas pedal though. Good knee there for Kasem. Good jab for Kasem. He's not uh, fucking Yoda Fa's mad now. Ooh, good right by by Yoda Fa. Yoda Fa with an elbow. Now a cross. Now an uppercut. More uppercut across. This is crazy. Jab for Kassem. Let's take it with the jab. Ooh, slip and rip jab. Look at Kassem fucking doing a little jog. I don't know if you want to do that with this guy. Jab's now 3-4 now. Jab for Kassem. 10 seconds to go. This is crazy. 2-3-4 for Kassem. Jab for Kassem. And there's the end of the fight. Damn. That's crazy. Did not expect that. Holy shit, they called that. I know, right? Actually called a knockdown, even though it was a flash one. So Yoda for a fist. Good fight. They're very inconsistent with what they call a knockdown and what they don't. What they do call and what they don't. Oh my god, there was a left. Down to one knee. Wow. And they called that one. 2-1 to one, Yoda Fa. They won 10-8 each round. 1-3. to three. It's all about a wins round. I say y'all won round 2 to me and won the fight. Yeah, I think y'all definitely had a better second round. Oh my god. Actually, I gave the second to Kasim there, actually. I forgot I gave that one to Kasim. But I think... Yeah, uh, that third round right there. That's that's gonna be yeah, uh, I don't know. Two to one Yodafa. Really close. Really close. I think Yodafa might have done enough to take it two to one. One to one. I think in that third Yodafa might have done enough to win it, but let's see. There's number one. Yapupa. Kasem. Split decision. Who got it? Yad Pupa. There it is. Two to one. There it is. I figured he'd get the split two to one. Damn. Kasem is probably going to be pissed he lost that. But I definitely had a feeling Yad Pupa would get it. And he got the nod there. Two to one. Damn good fight though. Damn good fight. Over here. Ah. That was a crazy one right there. See, Thailand based judges. <laughs> Reminds me of DC versus Stipe a lot. This guitar. I can see some of that. I love how they're promoting this like uh like the card's over, even though it's not. <laughs> Another one. Good stuff. Absolutely. Antara going back to Belarus. Belarus. <laughs> Belarus. That's funny as hell. That's going to be a good one next week too. One Friday fights. That'll be amazing. Let's see. Heavyweight unification. Yeah, that'll be next week, man. Damn good card right there. Oh, god damn, overcuts galore, the jab, Gonzalez and Dab Dom did have one hell of a fight, amazing battle, in our first fight, Yad Karam and, who the fuck is that, Panthep, Panthep, not bad. And now we're going to switch the fuck over. Actually, no, we don't have to switch over. My bad. It's not like that time they put us on Facebook, but they're going to switch over to their main card anyway. I love how they present it like that was the card of the day. When all they're going to do is go to commercial in a minute. There's the commercial, and then they're going to flip. 
By the way, everybody, early for Bellator tonight. I'll be live at 7 for Bellator. I will also be live for Glory Collision tomorrow at 2, the UFC at 7. And then right after the UFC's main event, I'm giving you a bonus fight in Tim Zhu and Ocampo. Should be a good one. I imagine it'll be it'll be a fun weekend. A lot of crazy shit happening. On this card, let's see. Let's see. Catch weight. Flyweight. Catch weight. Catch weight. Flyweight. Not as many people miss weight in this main card. I'm actually surprised. Very surprised. By the way, folks, I'll be right back. I'm going to go hit the bathroom real quick. I'll be one second. All right, we are back. We are back in it. Pour up some water there. Cheers, everybody. Ah. See, let's fucking go. I heard a pit bull wins tonight. First three division champion. That is correct. I'm surprised he made the uh, the weight class tonight because he looked very fucking emaciated on that scale, but he did make it. He didn't make the weight, so we can't be mad at that. Let's see. I forgot about Triple C. Uh, no, I think he means in Bellator, but technically in MMA, no. All of MMA, no. But I believe the first triple champion in Bellator, yeah, he'll be the first one in Bellator. But not in MMA overall. Let's see. Who the fuck? Oh, Sexan is on this. I thought he was on the other one. Yodakon versus... Panther or Pantep, Sexon, a guy named Jack. That's hilarious. Let's see who else. Petong, uh, Mongolayev or Songrock. Oh, and of course the main event, which is fucking Pedang and Honsuk. I thought that was Panther at first, but it's fucking Pantep, which sounds like a fancy fucking dish that you see in some, uh, High class restaurant. MMA triple champ uh, in Bellator. Yeah, first one in Bellator. First one that Bellator has. I know they have a lot of double champions in Bellator, but I don't think they have a triple champion. Let's see, because you can get rocked by lights punches one week to withdraw. You think Bilar will finally show up? I'm very skeptical. I'm still skeptical. I think Bilar... I think Bilar is going to be, he's he's still a coward because he hasn't defended the belt since he won it like two, three years ago, but I'm, I'm very skeptical of it. If he shows up Friday, I'll be surprised. Let's see, cutting away part of it. Yeah, not easy to do it. Got to find the right drug cycle to get it done properly. Oh, this motherfucker, three-time Lumpany Stadium champ. Oh, so this guy's familiar with the shit. Just never done it here. One one debut for this guy? Yes. Patong or Pantep, my bad, yes. This guy? Yes, as well. That hair, by the way, is something else. Oh, you guys can't even fucking see it. <laughs> fucking wild-ass hair. 
that back up. Let's see, I thought Triple C's their championship was Olympics, but I'm probably wrong. Uh, I think, I'm not sure, let's see. I think, I think so. I guess if you throw in the Olympics, uh, that does technically count, I believe. Bilal reminds me of Nemkov. Uh, when he actually shows up and fights, yes. When he's not pulling out of title defenses, yeah. Uh, it's, it's hard to really compare him to Nemkov, because Nemkov will show up at that point. Pitbull, AJ, rematch faded in obscurity. Yeah, it did. Seems like it did, which is a shame. Cheers, by the way, everybody. Let's see. One Friday fights in for the newcomer. For one, not all of them are low level, some are high. Yeah, they do have premier fights here and there. They throw them in for the viewers, try to get more viewers, but for the most part, it's for a lot of fighters fighting their way into one, yeah. So yeah, next that's what makes next weekend's Friday Fight Card special, is that it actually features high level fights on it, which is very rare for a Friday Fight Card. Let's see... And now Yad Kumarn, or wait, Ku Kumarn, my bad. Yad Kumarn is now walking in. One hell of a last name. Oh, they're giving this man's whole fucking life story, which is as Muay Thai of a life story as it gets. Let's see. See the new Russian middleweights UFC's finding. They got a couple of them now coming up, building up division. Oh yeah, they they love those Russians. Especially since they'll fight on a cheap contract and they'll take on anybody. So you're right. They're definitely going to start to stack the division up with a lot of them. Zero gone. Probably still going to stay at MMA Factory. So I've come fights against Spivak. Oh, boy. Ferdinand's going to get that man embarrassed in front of his home fans, huh? It's a shame. Ferdinand really got exposed as a bad coach in, in that fucking... Fight with John Jones. Still can't believe that happened. Russia being savages. They are, bro. One at a time, they are. By the way. Cheers, by the way, everybody. Hold up. Let's get my clock ready. See the record for Pentep, forty-five eighteen. Holy shit! Pentep. Chatri said he paid one point five million USD just for fee next week. Chief for UFC, I know, but new record for Muay Thai. It definitely is elevated Muay Thai. Forty-seven to fifteen for this guy. Another rookie in the game. Yad Kumar. So let's see. 125, 135 in Olympics for Triple C. Oh, okay. So technically, yeah, that does make Pitbull the first one in MMA to hold three belts at one time. Even though I'm pretty sure in one championship, I think it happened. Oh, no, it might have been two in one championship. There we go, round one. It might have been multiple sports in one championship that I'm thinking of. Probably multiple sports. But yeah, that would be first in MMA. That's pretty crazy. If he can get it done tonight. Good high kick by Yokomar out the gate. Low kick by Pentair. Or Pentap. Low kick by Yokomar. 1-2 by Pentap. 1-2 by Pentap again. Pentap packing him up with a 1-2 and a high kick. Good jab by Pentap. Low kick by El Kumarn. Pantep misses the right. Good high kicks by Pantep. Low kick by El Kumarn. High kick by El Kumarn. Good jab there. Good 
Good jab there by Bantep and a good low kick. The low kick by Yad Kumar and high kick by Pantep. Good low kick by Yad Kumar. Let's see, I just signed New Magomed off to fight Strickland. They signed another, I'm forgetting his name. Oh, yeah. See, nobody's held three titles ever at once. In MMA, yeah. In MMA, definitely not. It's only been two at once uh, is the most. If somebody did it in one, they were holding it for another sport. So, yeah. See, Pantep look like Thailand Dominic Cruz. He kind of does. He does have that look about him, don't he? High kick for Pantep. Jab for Pantep. No kick for Yal Kumar. And high kick for Yal Kumar. But Pantep misses the overhand right. High kick by Yal Kumar. And again. Low kick by Yal Kumar. High kick by Yal Kumar right there. Kicking a punch for Pantep. Pantep being the aggressor. Pontep backing him. This man up with punches and shit. About a three piece right there. Good hook right there. Fucking high kicking a jab by Pontep. See how Kumar guy needs to throw something. Pantep lighting him up right now. Good high kick. Good one two by Yakumar. Let's see. Nunez would have been the best option to get a third belt. Because none of the belts was fake division. But yeah, she didn't want it. So yeah, boxer got seven and eight. Oh yeah, I call it like the four belt era in boxing. It's fucking crazy. Three piece there for Pontep. Twenty seconds ago. Ten seconds ago. Pontep with a jab. Three piece for Yakumarin, and there's the end of the round. Not bad right there. Pontep was the aggressor, though. In the first three minutes, Pontep was the aggressor, so I got to give it to him. Hmm. Pull that up real quick. There we go. Ooh, good high kick and a jab for Pontep there. Backing up, Yad Kumar. Got to get Pontep that nod, 10-9 right there. Got to give him the nod. See, the Hamzat's main goal to be the first ever three-division champ. Talk, sit, and he's cut a lot of weight enough time, still 170 belt, and let it go. Hell yeah, first thing that man needs is to get a fucking fight. 85, 70, just get in there and fight somebody. Hard to even get a three division, a become three division champ if you can't even get the belt in one weight class or even commit to getting the belt in one weight class. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need that man to make weight and and win a fight. Well, win another fight anyway. Three piece for Yakumarn. I miss Hamzad. Oh yeah. Good knee for Pontup. They tie up. Yep, three no weight divisions in MMA. Yeah. Tonight could be the first if Pitbull could get it done. Man needs to get out of Chechnya. He does. He needs to remove uh Katerov's hand from up his ass. Once he could once he could do that, I think he'll be fine. Good to see you, by the way, Param. Aloha to you, bro. I hope you're doing well. Pontep is abusing Yakuman right about now. Yakumar throwing these little knees, not even hurting the man, really. This has been all Pontep. Pontep making it easy. Yakumar with a low kick. Yakumar with a high kick, but Pantep pressing forward with some punches. Now some knees inside this clinch. Fighting alongside the rope. Oh, he almost threw that fucker over the ring. That Usman fight might not even happen, I'm hearing. Oh, that definitely ain't happening. That that's definitely not happening, sadly. Hamza needs to find a weight class and commit to it and stick with it. Locate for Yakumarn. One two for Yakumarn. Good knee for Yakumarn. And for Benter. Sure he needs to get his fights. We got an issue where he couldn't fight till October. Yeah, I was about to say that man needs to get something booked. As long as he can get a fight booked, he'll be alright, but he needs a fight booked first. Before anything else. 
Both land knees. Ref gonna separate. Jab for Pantera. High kick by Pantera. Putting his gas back on the pedal. He's fucking handling uh, Yakumarn right now. Yakumarn needs to be more of a bully here. And he ain't doing it. Fucking Pantera is abusing him. Good hook. Elbow by Pantera. The jab by Pantera. Elbow and knees there for Pantera. 35 seconds to go. Good hook now for Yakumarn. Now, come on with a low kick. One, two for Pentair. Jab for Pentair. Knee for Pentair. First kick for Yaku Kumar. Good elbow for Pentair and a knee for Pentair. Ten seconds. Jab for Yaku Kumar. One, two for Pentair. One, two and a good hook. Push kick and there's the end of the round. Crazy shit right there. Gonna have to once again give it to uh, Pontep. Pontep was just having way too much fun, making it way too easy there. Pontep is up 2 0, at least on my card, he's up 2 0. Way too easy. Oh, man, they're showing a little knee there. Damn, another knee for Pontep. Landed some good shots in there. Can't be too mad at that effort. Let's see. By the way, everybody, I will be live tonight for Bellator at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Well, I'm going to say about 7, 7 7.15. Just in case traffic is a little heavy on the way home. But yeah, about 7 o'clock is the goal anyway. Good high kick for Yapu Bob, but a good return fire by Pantera. Pantera up two rounds to zero here. Easy work. More aggressive. Volume way higher. And he's pressing forward way more. High kick. Damn! Pantera kicked the fucking ring rope instead of his opponent. Good kick by fucking Pat Derry. Yaku Mara needs to do more though, man. He's not doing enough. He's doing some, but he's not doing enough. He's being pushed around and beat up on here for the most part. Pantera with a high kick. Another high kick. Damn, he punted him twice in the head there. Now another knee. They're fighting along the ropes. Ref says break. Damn it, break. Kick to the body by Yakumarn. Knee by Panther. Knee by Panther again. Knee by Yakumarn. Ref saying stop and break. Disperse. Panther is fucking comfortable here. Yakumarn ain't doing a damn thing. A lot of spamming of the jabs. Uppercuts by Panther. Nice knee. Got him against the ropes now, kneeing him in the fucking rib cage against the ropes. Ref says stop and disperse. Hook to the body, jab to the head for Yakumar, but he immediately backs up. Pantera's like, fuck that shit, that's all you got? Step in knee there, Tiger style. Ref gonna break him up. Tell him the box. Down in one minute. Good hook now by Pantera. Ref separating him again. This referee is... Wow, okay. He's giving out warnings now like he's a badass. But he's basically being pushed around here. Damn, three-piece by Pantera. They tie up, spill into the corner. And the ref drags him off again. Says the fight. Low kick for Yakum, uh, Yakumarn. Knee by Pantera. Ref says stop. Separate. Oh, good hit to the body by Pantera. And a good knee. Good knee by Pantera. 
Ten seconds to go. And they break away. Not bad. Not a bad fight. End of the fight. Everybody having a good time in there. Hope everybody's enjoying yourselves. We are having a good time. Hanging out per usual. One of those cards where it's alright. It's it's alright. Well, actually, it's it's good, I should say. The MMA fights were boring, but everything else is picking up quite nicely. Cheers, everybody. And here we go again with the weird-ass judging. Let's see. Hard to rob anybody here. Both are from Thailand, after all. Let's see. All three judges. Give it to... Pantep. There we go. Oh, they got that right. Way more aggressive. Way more aggressive. I agree with that. Sexan! My boy! Is this the same one? Oh, no, that's a different one. Okay, that I saw Sexan, I was thinking, but nope, that is a different one. I wonder if he's as good as the other one. Uh, they should find more harder job for Pan, uh, month up. It's a one-way fight, not so much fun to me. I know, right? That was pretty much one guy walking down the other one and bullying the other one, so you're not you're not wrong there. Doc Maipa and Sexan now take center stage in, in flyweight. What the fuck happened to Roman uh Ferralardo? Wait, Ferra oh wait, Faraldo, my bad, Faraldo. When is his next fight? I know he lost his last but damn. I don't even know who that is. So hold on, let me. Who? Hold on. Let's see. Roman Feraldo. Let's see. Oh, he was supposed to fight on the Bellator card tonight. He had to withdraw. <laughs> I don't know why. That's weird. He had to withdraw, though. And he has not fought since 2022, where he last lost uh, to Levin Chakeli. That's a shame. That is a shame. Now we have... Who the fuck is this? Is that Duck Mop, uh, Maipa? Yep, I believe that is Duck Maipa. Oh, he got fucking Ricky Tan from Rush Hour in his corner and shit. Uh, there we go. Oh my god, he looks like he's way wider than the other guy. What is his height? 5'4". Other guy is... 5'4". Oh, he's just wider looking, okay. Well, this guy looks like he's on supplements where the other guy does not. Don't my pa, wildflower. Such a strange name for man. <laughs> he says, Matara. That is a very strange name. Wildflower? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, wow. That's crazy. Parham's like, oh, man. He pulled out. Yep. He pulled out. I don't know what happened to him, but yeah. Hadn't fought in a while. Oh, hadn't fought this year anyway. But that is a, by the way, Vatari, yeah, that is a bit of a weird name to have. He, You would think he'd get something a little more hardcore than that, but Wildflower, that's very soft. At least for a man. Sixan Fatatex. With a very interesting hair choice of hair. Ah, uh, yeah, he's fighting out of the Fatatex team. They usually do pretty good over here. Well, they're, they're usually, at least from what I've seen, they usually do all right. Over in Lumpini. At least for one, they do. Closet case. 
Oh, shit, says Paulman. Makes sense. Let's see. Let's see what Sex Sand's going to do here. Not the Sex Sand I was thinking of, but close enough, I guess. Maybe Doug Mapa, uh, let's see, Doug Mapia Simp, or Maipa. Doug Maipa Simp. <laughs> he just might be. He might have been either a lady boy in a past life and wants to be a man now, or like uh, Cayman Ryder says, a simp. Uh, who pulled out? Uh, Roman Feraldo, some prelim fighter for Bellator that uh, Parham was asking about. I had to pull out. I have no idea why. I guess he was ill or something. Either that or got injured or something like that. Oh, yeah. The other guy looks way more shredded than this guy, Sex N. That means Sex N will probably kill him. <laughs> Dog Mipa might get fucking wiped out here. Sex N looks like he's not here to play games. This Sex N, anyway. Not the one that I know. Or the one that we know. Give him a nice little reception, though. Who no vicious ladyboy Muay Thai champion is all new. He <laughs> could be that. It's like, okay, thanks. Got to work. See you all tonight. See you tonight, Meridian Heights. Have a good one, bro. I'll be live during the prelims of Bellator tonight. 72 and 40. Doc Maipa. Who wins, Blanchfield or Pena? I'm giving it to Blanchfield. Pena, I've seen Pena with somebody who doesn't even train ground and uh, drained him ran me, and she got choked out. After that, it's like, oh, you suck against ground people. So yeah, Blanchfield will run through her. Sex Sand introduced. After this, folks, only four more fights. I got Aaron's as par on. Absolutely. Blanchfield, I 100% give the edge to. Once you let Jermaine Duran, Jermaine Duran and me sub you, that means your ground game is doomed no matter what you do. Round number one. Oh, good hook for Sexan out the gate. Kick to the body by Dog Maipa. One, two for Sexan. Low kick for Dog Maipa. Maipa with a hook. Maipa with a one, two. Good elbow for Sexan. Dog Maipa with a hook. Sexan with a jab to the body. Kick to the body by Dog Maipa. I kick by Sexan. Got one, two, three. I'm, I made it in time for the Sexan fight like a casual, says Dane. Good to see you, Dane. About time you, you made it here. On, on casual time. But that's better than no time, I guess. It kicks for Dog Maipa. I kick for Sexan. Three piece for Sexan. Good job for Dog Maipa. This will be a good fight, at least. We've seen some weird decisions on this card. Very weird decisions. Push kick for Sex On. High kick for Sex On. Low kick for Dog Maipa. Damn, high kick for Sex On. Four piece for Sex On. And jab for Dog Maipa. Dog Maipa slips and falls on his ass. He's right back up. Sexan measuring him. Good body kick. Push kick for Sexan. Good hook for Dog My Paw. Three piece for Sexan. Jab for Dog My Paw. High kick for Sexan. Low kick for Dog My Paw. Hook to the body for Sexan. Four piece for Sexan. At least Blanchfield is someone that has not fought Nunez. She could be a fresh champ. Absolutely. Something fresh is what the division needs. Fresh, that is a pain anyway. Robberies all day, says AJ. I agree, man. All down the line. At least two. Well, yeah, two very close ones, absolute robberies. Well, no, one close one, and I'd say just one blatant. <laughs> we just made it a full-on decision. Still, we're going at it. They fucking are. Got a hook by Sexon. Knee by Doug Maipa. Another knee by Sexon. Ref says break. Get away. Good jab for Doug Maipa. Good hook for Doug Maipa. Elbow and a jab. Good return fire for Sexon, though. Now Dog Maipa with a four-piece Sexon return to the fire. Six, seven, eight, nine! And down goes Dog Maipa! 
down goes dog my pa. Five, six, seven, eight. Come on. You good? All right, you good. Gave this fucker a standing eight. Ooh. Damn, three, four, five by Sexaw. Down he goes. That's it. That's it. Sexaw knocked him the fuck out. He's dead. Sir, enjoy your trip to purgatory. You are finished. Oh, my God. Fucking beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, my God. Beautiful knockout. That's knockout of the fucking card right there. That's knockout of the whole card so far. That man is done. Oh, 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 oh. Missed the uppercut though, but damn. Killed him before the... Oh my god. Oh, oh, shit. Take a four, get him. He's dead. Oh my god. Fucking... Like a fucking 13 piece right there. Oh, oh. Fucking hook. Oh yeah, that one fucked him up. That fucked him. He just... Oh my god. That's the one that shut him out. That one cracked his fucking jaw. Jesus. Fucking Dog Maipa gets destroyed by Sexon. Beautiful knockout by Sexon, man. Knockout of the card right there so far. Oh my god. Put him in a casket. Wildflower started to wear out. <laughs> you ain't lying. That's what happens when your name is Wildflower, Dog Maipa. He just died. Dog Maipa's dead. Sexon just murdered him. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Motherfucker named Jack. That was bad. That was bad. Fucking Dog Mipa is going to be dead. Dog Mipa is dead. The man withered away like a flower in the wintertime. Oh yeah, Fair Text looks good. Just seen him back. Absolutely. That was beautiful. Beautiful work by Sexon. I loved it. Brush stroke, yes sir. Full on, man. Full on. Wildflower, that's why. <laughs> and alright, that man full on picked the wrong nickname and shit. Wrong name to have. That's what happens when your name's Wildflower. Give that man a bonus. There we go. 350k bot for Sexon. Sexon puts another one on the ground. Good shit. Good shit. Sexon's ready to cry. Oh shit. That man's life has been changed. He earned it though, man. He earned that shit. He looked like his life just changed. It it 100% did. That's what I love about these bonuses. They literally fight like their lives are on the line. Every time they do it. I love it. I'll never get tired of it. Oh, they said he's close to a six-figure contract in one championship. So I guess if he wins, like, maybe his next fight, they'll give him the, um, I believe it's $500,000, either that or $100,000 U.S. dollars. And they sign him to a full, full-on full contract, and then they go from Friday Fights to Amazon Prime, which is a good way to do it. Their one championship is bringing back their numbered cards, like one, like 165, 166, and all that later this year. And that'll be like their big pay-per-view events, and they'll be doing them frequently and all that. So, like, basically, you fight through Friday Fights, and then when you get the contract, you go to Prime. And then the next step out of Prime will be a numbered pay-per-view card. Pretty good system to have. But then you have rare cases like this where they put big-ass fights on Friday morning like this. Malikin is going to destroy Bilar next Friday. I can't wait. I can't wait. This is probably the one Friday fight... Well, Literally, out of all the one Friday fight cards they booked so far, this is 100% going to be my favorite. I can tell. I can tell. Well, man, more like it. Oh, no doubt. 100K for the contract. 
Yeah, that sounds about right. It's either 100, 500, probably 100. There is Malikin. He's going to destroy fucking, um, fucking Bilar. Bilar has been holding that belt hostage for like three years, about two, three years. It's all over with next Friday, Bilar. Your time is fucking up. I think Jack is not a Thai name. It definitely is not. <laughs> that, that, that does not scream Thailand to me when I see Jack. I think of some guy from America or something. See, he earned it. Respect, no doubt. Ugh. See, this is Thailand's version of the ultimate fighter without the love tale storytelling because it's better to me because it's better than DS, uh, WCS. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. That's exactly what it is. They fight their way through the UFC, and they don't give you the backstory. They just give you the fights, and they give you way more of them, too. Plus, it's way more entertaining. These guys fight like their families are being held hostage or something. Let's see. Fatara definitely don't sound like a Thai name. It definitely isn't. That's not a Thai name to me. And they even have him on the screen as this Jack. They don't even have the full name. Apachop Muay Thai. They just have Jack up there. I'm like, uh, okay. It's fucking random. Mardenglek is his opponent name. By the way, everybody, three fights left after this. Let's see. Yep, the top three after this. And these should be quick. A lot of people should die. This one's at one four to two. It should be a quick fight. Only reason I remember is 100k. They gave it out like five last week. Oh, wow. That makes sense. So, yeah, okay. So, yeah, so it is 100k. Ty, borrow a word from India. Uh, Luke, English borrow from Latin. <laughs> No drams dub C Ultimate Fighter Trash has some good ones, but a bunch of babies lately. Oh yeah, this is this is better than Ultimate Fighter, better than Dana White Contender Series. The, this is what it should be: people fighting like they want to be at the high level. Jack is your secondary name for people who are mentally fucked. I got my man's Jack here. <laughs> Jack and Jill went up a hill. Oh shit. We all know how that shit goes. <laughs> I expect somebody to get floored here. This should be a good fight. It should be a good one for what it's worth. Animal room on fire early in the morning. And we're all just hanging out here. Cheers, everybody. Got a dear friend whose name is John, but is a.k.a. Jack. <laughs> Let's see. F. Dana. I like Chartree, says Parham. I could get behind that, Parham. I'll toast to that any day, man. Chartree, Chartree's got it right. Straight beats. Glory? Yeah, I'm doing glory. Yeah, I'm doing glory tomorrow. The link is already up, if you don't already know. I'm doing Bellator. I'm doing glory. I'm doing the UFC, and I'm doing boxing tomorrow. So, yeah, I am doing glory. See, so just had dinner for us, no Europeans. Chachery, absolutely fuck cue ball Dana White. <laughs> just had dinner in the morning. That's true. This is like your, your nighttime right here, pretty much. Let's see. Yeah, Jack... Uh, is like a name crazy people call themselves. Let's see, Zach with a boxing glove, ready for the boxing fight tomorrow. And now we await, uh, Mr. Jack. Marting Lake already in the ring.
This should be an interesting one right here. Let's see, time to light a blunt. Absolutely. We all know how that ended. <laughs> Definitely time to light up a good one. It's going to be a good, actually, it's going to be a good two days. So tonight I'm going live at 7. Oh, let me get rid of that. So it starts at 6, but I'm not going to get home literally until about 6. So I'm going to need time to get ready. So about 7, 7.15, I'll be on for Bellator. Of course, Glory, we're going to be doing the main card at 2. In the UFC, we're going to be doing that at 7. And then, of course, Zoo and Ocampo, which is on, I believe, like right after Vittoria and Cannoneer or around that time. But yeah, we'll throw in that main event along with the UFC. So it'll be a busy weekend this weekend. So three cards tomorrow, two today. And this is the first of our two events of the day today. What do you think about McGregor allegations? Uh, tradition. Tradition for the leprechaun. Gets a charge. Gets a fight booked. Comes back. Everybody's happy. Kind of the... Wash, rinse, repeat for him, really. 60 and 20 for Jack. And it's weird that he just calls himself Jack. Instead of Jack, Abichat Moit die. Here we go, send a ring. They touch gloves, and here we go. Someone should die here. At least die quickly. <laughs> Round one. Take the body by Martin Leck. Good jab by Jack. High kick by Martin Leck. Low kick by Jack. Martin Leck with a low kick. High kick by Martin Leck. Three fights after this. High kick by Martin Lick. I hear that fucking faint drum being beat in the fucking distance. High kick by Martin Lick. Ref is yelling for action. High kick for Martin Lick. Jab for Martin Lick. Jab to the body by uh, Martin Lick. Low kick by Martin Lick. High kick by Martin Lick. Damn. Fucking Jack felt that. High kick by Jack. Push kick by Jack now. Good job! Oh, what he caught! Fucking Morning Lick! Morning Lick got caught every letter. Jack. Five, six, seven. That was a slick, fast punch. Eight. That man drunk walking like his last call. And now Jack going in for the kill. Oh, he slumped that motherfucker with a right hand. That man literally crashed and fucking burned after one fucking punch. Oh, my God. Fuck. Oh, my God, man. Shit. One fucking punch and he's out. One punch and he's out. I'm surprised they even let the fight happen. I, I mean, let it continue. Holy shit. He fucking face planted. That man was... Boom. God damn. Ray Lewis' son passed away. R.I.P. FTW. Queer Street. Man down. Nice. Out cold. Shit. That right hand. Look at that. Oh. Out cold, man. Out before he hit the mat. Oh. Out before he hit the mat. Oh. Oh, fuck. Damn. I need to see the punch from the first knockout, though. The first knockdown. That was so fucking fast. I nearly missed it. I saw uh, Martin Lick's punch, but Jack landed like a sneaky one right there. And then when he fucking landed that bomb for the kill. Goddamn. Oh, and that mask. Oh, shit. That man got that fucking white tiger mask on. Oh, shit. That's a nasty KO. Give that. Give Jack some fucking money. Yo, yo, was still out on the floor. Oh, no, they got the stretcher out in the background. Oh, shit. Is he dead? Is he dead? Oh, they're bringing out a fucking stretcher. They're rolling him onto it. 
And they're doing that in the background while Jack's getting his hand ra- Oh, that's cold. Wow. God damn. Shit. Oh yeah, they got that man on the stretcher. They're gonna they're gonna drag him out of there. Oh boy. Yeah, he might be dead, folks. They had to bring out the stretcher and they literally rolled him onto it in the background while Jack was uh being announced the winner. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> it's the ambulance fork, he's done. <laughs> he is done. Oh man. Well, that's a murder. <laughs> He's dead. Parham, his brain hurts. Oh yeah, a lot more of his, his brain and everything going to hurt in a minute. Oh, that's not good. They bring in the damn stretcher. That's never, that's never a good sign. And they gave him a bonus for that. Well, you got to, I guess. He, he murdered a man, so you may as well, but wow. Holy shit. <laughs> he literally killed that guy. And they said, fuck it. He, just just wheel him out of here. They had to drag that fucker out. And they got the camera away from him immediately, too. They even, and look, they even moved him over to the corner of the ring so they could have room to drag the guy out. Oh, boy. That's... That's something. <laughs> that's got to be KO with a card right there. I thought I saw KO with a card earlier, but nope. That's it right fucking there. Jack literally murdered somebody. The stretcher. <laughs> I cold as ice. It's never good when they bring it out. Well, they got him out there at least. They pan away from the ring and yeah, he's gone. They they're rushing him to the hospital immediately. Immediately. Oh my god. Good live uppercut. He fucking face planted him. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's a brain injury. The way he froze and went down, yeah. Ate one to the brain. That's not good. That's a brain punch. Do all crazy people call themselves Jack? Oh, no doubt. Anytime you see somebody named Jack in Thailand, you already know what the deal is. Quick finish. You definitely crazy. Mandatory bonus. I know, right? Man, damn claim. So soft, but punched so hard. How about that? Fucking destroyed that man's skull and cranium with that punch right there. Chin check and knockout mechanisms. <laughs> Real talk. Oh, boy. Crack that man right on the fucking face. I'm going to hit the bathroom, folks. I'll be in one sec. All right, we're back. Let's see how to, to the so, oh yeah, <laughs> medulla oblongata punch. <laughs> oh yeah, that thing's definitely finished after that. He'll be lucky if he'll if he can even remember his own name, or even remember what his family looks like if 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 he's even awake. Iron Mike talked about softly, but he hits hard. Oh yeah, you know the deal. And just like that, we have Rong Sung Tawang. Where have I seen... Have I seen you before? No, I have not. You've never fought in one. I am a casual to Muay Thai, so a lot of these names... I mean, I know the, the, the casual names. But a lot of these names I don't fucking know unless I fought here. Never seen you either. 
All right, so this is my first time for these two. And this is at 136. Oh, damn. By the way, after this, folks, co-main main event. Dude, Songrak looks like he's been uh, cooking on, like, a fucking food rack or something. Because, holy hell. Way darker than the other guy. Mong uh, Kalawak. Wait, it's Mong? Yeah, I'll just call him Mong. And then Padang and Hong Suk in the main event. So only two fights left after this one right here. Maybe another body. Be right back, Jay. Give me five, ten minutes. Tell him stop the event for a while, please. I'll let him know. Stop the event. <laughs> Pause the event, Chachri. Bring out, bring out some dancers or something <laughs> for ten minutes. LOL, grand true. Now we have Pet Long, Pet Long Lore. Or Pet Long, Pet Tong Lore, my bad. Not Pet Long Lore, but Pet Tong Lore. Interesting ass names. They really test your uh, brain power here and your ability to read. By the way, folks, going to be a fun night tonight. I'm going to be on, by the way, during the Bellator prelims. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a race from work, but 7 p.m. I should be here. It starts at 6. I'm looking at 7 o'clock, 7.15 at the latest. Uh, but I will be live during the prelims, everybody. I'll only miss, like, in, like the first hour of them, which is not even bad because it's Bellator, you know, but... I'll be live during the prelims tonight. And the main card. A little bit of a longer Bellator show than normal. Especially since the card is actually not bad tonight. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. And let's clean this bad boy out. It's crazy because this card is probably going to shit all over all the rest of the action this weekend, but it won't get as much attention. These cards are always for hardcore fans, as you can tell. We always get our views from uh, from other cards and shit, usually. I have a friend who talks softly, but motherfuckers are killers, says Parham. Oh, absolutely. I know people like that, too. I absolutely know people like that. Oh, my bad. Okay, Rung Sung to Wan. What's the record? None for him? Wow. Alright. Debutante. We truly not talking about his record. Who's this guy? Petong Lore. Your record. 50 and 20. Oh, you're a rookie in the game, but you have experience. Well, you, you're... Technically, that's a long career, but to these guys, like, 70 fights ain't shit. That's like rookie year mode right there for... for Fucking Thai people. For Thai fighters. No strike into the back of the head of the groin, obviously. You touch gloves, and here we go. Boom! Round number one. Alright, let's see who's gonna die here. Damn, high cake for Rung Sang Tawang. I'll just call you Rung. Rung and Batong. Batong with a low kick. Low kick for Rung, but Batong with a 1 2. Batong with a jab. Jab for Rung. Rung with a low kick. High kick for uh, Batong. Another kick for Batong. Overhand for Rung. Rung with a low kick, but look at Batong with about a seven piece right there. All uppercuts, deep fried. No sides. Low kick for Rung. Down to two minutes. Revis saying, come on. Low kick for Batong, low kick for Rung. Both land hooks. Jab for Petong, low kick for Rung, high kick for Petong. Jab for Petong, hooks to the body, uppercuts, and a high kick. Down one minute thirty. 
low kick for fucking uh for fucking wrong. Now Batong with a low and a high kick. Batong is out striking him so far in the volume department. Rung needs to throw more. Batong being aggressive and throwing a lot. Punches and the high kicks. Delivering combo meals. Catch him a kick there for Batong and he fucking throws him to the floor. That's going to fuck with Rung for a little bit. He kind of got bullied there. Another kick caught by Batong. Batong really doesn't fear this guy at all. Holy hell. And knee. Ref is like, hey, separate. Box. No kick for wrong. I kick for Batong. Good four, five, six piece there for Batong. Good to see you, Chase Bishop. I hope you're doing well. Super late, but I made it. It's all good, bro. Pair of low kicks there for uh, Batong. Oh, shit. Good catch of a kick and a dump. Good low kick there for Batong. Good high kick there for Rong. Batong back on the hunt. Ten seconds to go. Another good pair of high kicks. Nice high kick for fucking wrong, but Baton catches it and trips him and sends him to the fucking floor. And there it is. End of the round. See, sup, Jay. Everyone super late. Hell yeah. Bishop, thank AJ or Palmer for ranking you up. Oh, yeah. Somebody did donate a gifted sub. And one of the gifted subs did go to Chase Bishop, which is why your uh, your name is actually green there, Chase. But, hey, good to see you, my brother. But, yeah, somebody did actually gift a sub. I forgot about that. I almost forgot that happened. That round, by the way, is going to go to, uh, I think, Patong there. Because he, yeah, just because of the output, probably. He even dumped him there a little bit, too. Oh, there was an uppercut. There was some hooks. Patong was clearly uh, the, the more, I'd say the more active striker. Even dumped the man a few times on his ass. And here we go, folks. Round number two. Come on, ref. Here we go, round two. Damn, good three-piece for Patong out the gate. Patong with a good uppercut, good elbow, missed. Now fucking Rung trying to walk him down, walk him down with jabs, now going to the body and the head. Crazy amount of jabs he was spamming there. Now a good step in knee. Clinch knee tough for fucking Patong. And they break away. Low kick for Patong. Four piece for Patong. Rung needs to throw more. Rung with a good low kick. See if Rung can increase the output here. Patong with a three piece on a low kick. Run. Rung with a good low kick. Another push kick for Patong. Rung with a one two. Rung with a push kick. Low kick for Rung. Good jab for Batong. High kick for Batong. High kick to the body and the head. Good kick to the body for Batong right there. Kick to the body. One, two there for Batong. Good hook for Batong. Good uppercuts and hooks. There's a good one, two right there for Batong. Good knee for uh for wrong, my bad. That was a good knee for wrong. Good step in knee for Petong. Petong still slightly ahead. Slightly ahead. Better round, round two for wrong, but he hasn't outthrown Petong here. Petong is out striking him and out moving him and everything. Look at the fucking elbow by Petong. Good knee by wrong, but a good elbow again by Petong. Patong with a high kick. Oh, shit. He slips, falls on his ass. But he's right back up. Now in one minute. Good one, two, three. Now look at the fucking right hand now for fucking Patong. Right hands getting in for Patong. The elbow gets in for him as well. A couple of knees for wrong. But mainly the elbows and the fucking punches getting in for Patong. A couple kicks in there as well. Good elbow again for Patong. Patong beat him wrong to the punch. Literally. 
Fucking Batong. Better be careful, though. Rong is still just as dangerous. Good knee for both in the clinch. Good get of a kick for Batong. Missed an uppercut. Missed the uppercut to Rong, but Batong missed with a counterpunch. Good kick to the body for Rong, and he gets dumped by Batong. Down to 20 to go. Hook to the body, hook to the head of Batong. Hook to the body again. Good elbow. Another elbow. Another elbow lands. 10 seconds. Good jab. Another jab misses there for Batong. Good uppercut lands for Batong. 1 2 for Batong. And there's the round. Not bad. That might be two rounds for Petong. Might be two. Much better round for Rung, though, but I don't know if it was enough to really take the round. It was just a better effort from him in this round than the last. Not terrible, though. See, Blue Boy fighting back. He is. Finally fighting back. He was getting his ass whooped and bullied there in the first round, but he's, he's starting to fight his way back. Better effort this round. Don't know if it was enough, but better effort. If he can get a knockout, of course, obviously I deal with these judges, but I'd say it's about 2 nothing. Umar run through Sandman. It'll be champs and guarantees of Parham. I could see it. Oh, the fight was over. By the way, they were celebrating this is AJ. I know, right? The way these guys celebrate, you'd think that fucking scrap was done with. By the way, Parham, I do agree. If Umar gets through Corey, then yeah, he'll be champ. He'll be the next champ. Four piece there out the gate for Patong. <coughs> Excuse me, good elbow. Damn, wrong. Actually, walking forward on this shit. Look at Patong with the counters. Oh, good counter hook. Uppercut. Counter hook. Patong misses again. I mean, Patong lands again. Fucking wrong is the one missing. Wrong is throwing all this wild shit and he's missing out the gate. Patong is the one countering him and landing on him. Good hook now for Patong. Oh. Fucking Rome missed with that chopping elbow. Good knee for Betong. Good knee for Betong again. Another knee lands. Another knee. Good hooks and an uppercut. Good knee to the body. Good knee to the body. By fucking Rung. And they break away. High kick for Betong. Final round. High kick for Betong again. Fucking Rung needs a finish. Rung better hunt for a finish. Right now he's fighting to hang in there. He needs to fight to get a kill. Nine to one minute forty. Good jab again. Two, three, four. Piece for him now. Got a high kick for Batong. Rung with a good elbow. Rung with a knee. Damn, big knee by Rung. Oh my god, he fucking whipped the head back of Batong right there. And they break away immediately. Down to 1 minute 20. High kick for Peitong. High kick for Peitong. Good elbow. Good counter elbow now. Good knees. 110 to go. Good knee. Ref is jumping in there. Ref getting in there to separate. Push kick now for Peitong. High kick for Peitong. 55 seconds to go. Elbow. Elbow. Damn. Another knee, another knee lands. Ref says stop. Demanding they stop. High kick for Peitong. Knee for Peitong. Wrong with some right hands. Three, four, five for Wrong. Now fucking Peitong fighting off the ropes. Three, four, five for Peitong. Damn, he's just emptying out the fucking gas tank now. Uppercuts and hooks. High kick for Wrong, but Peitong is on the fucking gas pedal. Walking this man down. High kick and a jab for Petong. One, two foot wrong. This is absolutely insane. Four piece landing. Big knee landing for Petong. Elbow for Petong. Elbow for wrong. Ten seconds to go. Both men getting pieced up here. Five seconds now. And there is the fight. Not bad. Not bad. There we go. Not a bad one right there. 
Gonna have to give that to Petong, though. I think Petong was a little stronger. Good effort, though, by Rong. But in my opinion, I gotta give it to Petong. I wonder what side the judges are gonna go on, though. The way these judges are, you never fucking know. Let's fucking go, absolutely. Damn good effort. Rung lose. But at least he tries best make competitive, says Fatata. I agree. He did lose, but it was still a very good fight. I'm not mad at it at all. I agree with that. I agree with it. Very close bout, though. Very close. I was entertained by it. Let's see. All three judges. Pat Dong Law with the win. Pat Dong Law gets it. Easy work for him. Easy work. Let's see. We go into our... Wait, they said what? Main, their main event? Hold up. Oh, my God. They're they're doing it again. Damn, Jay. You about to go to work? LOL. <laughs> Shit. Right after this uh, main... Right, not after this fight, but after their... You know, after their final fight. So, we're getting our main event now, huh? Wow. Damn, Jay, you about to go to work? Shit. I definitely wish I wouldn't. I definitely wish I wasn't. I'd be knee-deep in that mushroom bar right now. And by the way, Frosted Flakes won the poll. So it's going to be Frosted Flakes tonight. We're getting into the Frosted joint tonight. For Bellator time. See, Umar versus Sandman. Uh, I think that will tell us what we need to know about him. I think so too, Parham. I agree. I got Umar winning that fight too. I think it'll be very good. But I got Umar winning that shit. We're getting a fucking promo and every and anything. Let's see. Let's see, it's Umar's toughest fight to date. I agree with that. Let's see. I watched Umar for a few. He's the real deal, says Granted. Oh shit. He definitely is. Now we get a Hung Suk promo. I love how they just pulled a fast one for no reason. So Hong Suk, no record on him. Wow. Must be a different one. Padong, he beat Batman. That's right. He beat, he beat the Batman guy by decision. Whoop Batman's ass. He ain't no Bruce Wayne. I'll tell you that much. This is fucking Batman. <laughs> Funny that they even call him that. Yo, is this guy wearing a Bulls jersey? Like, the Thai version of a Bulls jersey? It's like some basketball gym jersey they got. Crazy Romero needs a towel to make weight 205. <laughs> Yo, that man has so much fucking muscle on his body, it's damn near inhuman. Yo, well, Romero literally looks like he should be in fucking action movies, or like the supernatural superhero movies or some shit like that. Umar a little better. I agree with that. He definitely is. I like seeing these guys train in the four ounce gloves, by the way, too. Because usually I'm used to seeing Thai fighters train in either hand wraps or the big fucking gloves. But now they're going full ounces for training. I like that. Alright, who's out first? Hong Suk Fertex. Another Fertex fighter. I think Fertex is undefeated tonight. Looks like Rock Monster from Rock Raiders at this point. <laughs> oh, I can see that. I I can see that. <laughs> he definitely 
to f or for Umar to fight for Umar with his kicks, punches, or saying technical says granted, that's true. If Umar does run through Sandman, he'll be the champion, says AJ. I agree with that. But I agree with you guys. That's all Parham, AJ, good amount of people saying it. If Umar beats uh Sanhagen, yeah, I think I think he'll be the new thirty five pound champion. Best part is uh Al Aljo's about to move up. Aljo's about to move up after his, this fight with O'Malley, so with Aljo out the way, I mean, it'll be pretty easy. The only real obstacle for Umar will be Marab, but even so, I think he could beat Marab. It'll be a very good fight, though. I, I certainly want to see that. And now we're getting Hansu getting checked out right now. Put this to the side. I love how this is supposed to be the main of this is the main event, but in reality it's a co-main event because there's still one fight after this. I guess they felt like the co-main event was more important, which in that case just fucking make it the main event. But one championship being one championship. I ain't mad at it. And now we got Padang walking out to the ring. Guess who's back? What up, Pullman? And Pullman, no, this is not... You didn't miss the co-main event. The co-main event has now become the main event, and the main event has now become the co-main event. <laughs> Padang and Hansuk are fighting right now in the co-main event spot for God knows why. Unless, like, one fight fell apart, but I don't think that happened. Welcome back, by the way. Let's see Sam and Savage... But Umar question, let's see. But Umar question, kick, sponge the powerful. Do you use wrestling last Umar and Usman, says Granite. Padang now being checked out. Let's see, Mara versus Umar would be sick, Jay. You're spot on, says Parham. Absolutely. I think that's probably, like, the most interesting fight they can make at Bantamweight in terms of, like, the, the title picture. I, I love everything about that fight. Marab and Umar. Air times must nearly be in for some country, so they put the main on first before it run out. That's interesting. That I did not know. Uh, but that would make sense because, yeah, it is like, it's like 12.04 here. Oh, yeah, they got like 40 minutes. They better make sure these next two fights are murders. He's all body weight uh, training, too. I know people don't believe in it, but he only one that does body weight training genetics. Oh, yeah. That does help him out a lot. Padang now inside of the ring. And here we go, folks. Main event time. Even though really it's cold main event time. Yet the announcers are even saying main event time. Are we going to get a Y crew like it's main event? Yes, we are. We're getting a Y crew like it's a main event. So we're getting a main event and then we're getting a post limb fight. The fucking co main is now a post limb fight. That's hilarious. For for no reason at all. Just for the hell of it. They're like, fuck it. Now they're both sitting in the middle. Padang just gonna sit there. The other guy's pulling on a whole dance routine on the floor. The other guy's just gonna sit there. They're sitting with their backs turned to each other. This is interesting. I don't think I've seen that in one ring before. All right, now they both get up. The other guy's gonna, he's gonna do a dance to get all the ladies screaming in there. All the legitimate ladies, anyway. Oh, so these two are clo one step closer to a, a hundred thousand dollar contract. So the winner here will be fighting for a hundred grand, I guess, in their next fight. Oh shit. High stakes, I imagine. In the main event, then, if that's the case. Either that or just high stakes in this fight. And they want to make sure they get it in quickly. And they keep saying the fact that it's the main event slot tells you a lot about the fighters. Is it really the main event? They got these announcers confused out there. Now we get the AI announcer. 
Cobra coming out. Love the honor. Spiritual sound. Absolutely. We got 10 soldiers hanging out for this main event. 60 and 15 for Hong Suk. Hong Suk introduced first. SCJ, all the legitimate ladies. <laughs> uh, that's too long of a nickname, but I guess that's a good quote. One hell of a record. The record is, hold on. 97 and 26. Way into the, okay, just about in the hundreds. Well, actually, no, way into the hundreds. Way into the hundreds. Let's see, no strike in the back of the head of the grind. They touch gloves. Here we go. Our co main event. <laughs> Round one. Kick of the body by Pai Dang. High kick by Hong Suk. High kick by Pai Dang. Already the ref's like, Bucks! He's just yelling at him to fight already, even though they're just getting started. He's letting them know. None of that stalling shit. Go out the gate swinging. Both flow kicks. Push kick for Hong Suk. Pai Dang is... Rush forward on him. High kick for Padang. High kick for Hong Suk. Jab and a high kick for Hong Suk. A couple kicks actually for Hong Suk. Padang able to handle him well. Now the ref is saying, come on, more active, more active. Be more active. A kick there for Padang. Push kick for Hong Suk. Low kick for Pai Dang. Hong Suk being patient. Jab and a high kick for Hong Suk. Pai Dang charges forward. Low kick and a good overhand for Pai Dang. Hong Suk with a push kick to get out of the corner. Push kick for Pai Dang. Jab and a high kick for Hong Suk. High kick for Hong for Pai Dang. High kick for Hong Suk. Push kick for Hong Suk. Pai Dang with a high kick. High kick for Hong Suk. High kick for Hong Suk and Pai Dang. Down to one minute. High kick for Pai Dang. Oh. Fucking dump there by Hong Suk. Jab and a high kick for Hong Suk. Push kick for Hong Suk with a good hook there for uh, Pai Dang. Now the right back in the middle. Push kick for Hong Suk. Get over here for Hong Suk. Ref going to say stop. Separating him. Push kick for Hong Suk. Good jab to the body by uh, by Hong Suk. Oh, good hook there for Pai Dang. Pai Dang going to literally clinch up. Ref going to bring him away. Ten seconds to go. High kick. Jab to the body for Hong Suk. And there's the end of the round. Uh, let's see, AJ Smooth getting that booty. <laughs> Says AJ, 10 R course, 6 with 7, God mode. Yeah, for those that can handle it, absolutely. Uh, I kick for Hong Suk. Now they acknowledge that they have one more fight. Alright, so at least they finally acknowledged it. I don't know why they didn't acknowledge it. Kept saying, main event, main event. Like, no, you got one more fight. And they now acknowledge it. Hong Suk, of course, won that first round. Felt like he had a better round after, between him and Padang. And the replay seems to back that up. Right back off the stool. What the fuck is this guy doing? Oh, I guess he had a cramp or something. I'm like, why are you stretching his leg? 
And round two. Damn, I kick for Odsuk. They tie up knee for Piting. Refs to separate. I kick for Odsuk. Good jab on Suk. Good jab for Piting. Good push kick. I kick now for Odsuk. Right hand for Piting. Jab for Piting. Right hand for Piting. I kick for Odsuk. Jeez. Push kick for Suk, three piece for Pai Dang. High kick for Unsuk. Low kick for Hunsuk. High kick for Unsuk. Low kick for Unsuk. Good hook for Unsuk. Good jab for Unsuk again, but a three piece for Pai Dang. Good elbow for Hunsuk. Good jab there by Hansuk. Jab in the right hand. Minute 48. High kick for Piedang. Volume went down all of a sudden. Oh, there we go. Put it right back up. High kick for Hansuk. Another high kick for Hansuk, and he almost lost his balance. 1 2 and a high kick now for Piedang. Good hooks for Hansuk. 1 2 for Pai Dang and a jab by Hong Suk. Spinning back fist for Hong Suk, but he gets cut short by a calf kick by fucking uh, Pai Dang. Fucking fell to the ground throwing that back fist. Damn, good catch of a kick for Pai Dang and a jab. I'm a jab by Hong Suk. 3 4 5 for Pai Dang. Pai Dang with a nice hook. Make the body for Pai Dang. A push kick for Pai Dang. High kick for Hon Suk. High kick for Hon Suk. High kick for Hon Suk. Good high kick for Pai Dang. Almost fucking landed it flush. They both go over into the corner. Hon Suk with that kick. One, two for Hon Suk. And now Pai Dang switches his little spot over in the corner. Now he's got Hon Suk backed up against the ropes. Hon Suk fights his way out of it. Hon Suk back for the kill. Puts his foot on the gas. Good one, two. They tie up. They separate. Oh, good jab for Padang. And I gave him a Padang, but a good counter by Hong Suk 10 seconds ago. Ref is trying. Desperate to break him. Come on, ref. Ref's struggling over there. I kick good hook there for Padang. There's the end of the round. The good end of the round right there. Gonna go get some waves. Thank you, Jay. Catch you later. Take care, everyone. Hell yeah, Param. Take care, brother. Have fun out there with the waves. Uh, we'll see you later on, my dude. Of course, Bellator tonight. Uh, glory in UFC and boxing tomorrow. Uh, but have a good one, my Param. See you next time, my brother. Good work for Piedang. Much better round, I'd say, for Piedang. And let's see, ref got a crowbar. I know, right? He's going to need one to keep these two separated. Let's see, let's go over here. They're in final round. And of course, they now acknowledge there's one more fight after this, even though we're in the third round of this shit. Here we go, round three. Jab out the gate, high kick for fucking Padang. Good high kick for Hansuk. Hook for Padang. Jab for Hansuk and a push kick. High kick for Padang. High kick for Hansuk. High kick for Hansuk again. Hansuk with a push kick. Hansuk with a jab and a high kick. Jab for Padang. High kick for Hansuk. Jab for Hansuk. Push kick. Good right hand for Padang. And an elbow. Another hook. Oh my god. Oh shit. Right hand for Padang. One two for Padang now. Hansuk trying to fire back. Padang says I got to hit low but I'm alright. 
Padang with some nice jabs. Good push kick. Good knee to the body for Han Suk. Jab to the body for Han Suk. High kick for Han Suk. Jab and a knee there for Padang. And he throws him to the ground. Hook to the body by Hong Suk and a good knee. Another knee for Hong Suk. Ref separates him. Good hook for Padang. Jab for Padang. Good jab for Hong Suk. Knee for Padang. Good hook to the body by Hong Suk. Uppercut said fucking Padang with a four piece, but a good counter by Hong Suk. Good counter by Hong Suk again. High kick by Padang. Good jab by Hong Suk. Hong Suk just pushes forward on Padang. Good jab to the face by Hong Suk. Hong Suk with a high kick. Spinning back kick to the body for Hong Suk. Down to a minute, ten seconds to go. Jab by Hong Suk, but good counters by Padang. Over to have Hong Suk. Going to the body again is Hong Suk. High kick now for uh for Hong Suk. Two, three, four for fucking Hong Suk. Now a knee for Padang. Hong Suk backs him up with a jab. Hong Suk with a nice three piece. Pouring on the pressure, man. He's not letting go of it. Penang with a good effort, but this is Hong Suk's fight right here. 38 seconds to go. Hong Suk with a nice jab again. Okay, to the body by Penang. And jab again. Down to 20 seconds. Good knee to the body. One, two for Hong Suk. Three, four. Thirteen seconds to go. Another one, two for Padang. Ten seconds to go. High kick for Padang. Another one, two, three, four for Hong Suk. And there's the end of the fight. Good fight. Hong Suk won that fight, though. He easily took that. Not a bad fight that just so happens to go all three rounds. Let's see, go over here. See, Point Break must be part of a favorite movie. Flowing says 607, absolutely. A lot of fans there going crazy for Hong Suk, it seems like. Cheers, everybody. All right, let's see who they give it to. All three judges go to by unanimous decision. Hong Suk, the right call. And the four fight win streak for Padang is snapped. It's a damn shame. I love this type of violence in Miller Jojo. Absolutely, I love this shit. Cheers to you as well, Pullman. And we got one more fight, everybody. We got one more. These guys put a fast one on us. Now we get Song Rock and Mong Lakao. Mong versus Song. Mong Lakao versus Song Rock. Hate limb rules. Oh, yeah, man. This should be an interesting one right here. Thailand versus Myanmar, our first non-Thai fighter of the entire card. They said, fuck it, we'll make a main event. We'll make it Thailand versus Burma in the main event. I guess they're hungry for international competition. So they moved us to the main event randomly. Sangrak out fast. And I'm on room, yes sir.
He looks like he's ready to go. Is Song Rock. Has he fought? I believe he has fought in one before. Let me see. Damn, two fight losing streak, back to back decisions. Supalek and Fertoy. Last win was against Ty Sorjor. You die back in the first one Friday fight card ever. And then Meng Lakao. Wow, only lost a decision to uh, T Dead 99 back in the fourth Friday fight card. Filthy Animal Room. Uh, says Jay, what's up with the Filthy Animal Room? Uh, I don't know. Everybody hanging out, it looks like. Like I said, man, one Friday fights don't get a lot of views, bro. Nobody watches these. The only cards a lot of people watch on this channel are Bellator, UFC, Glory. Like a big one card. But Friday fights, nah, it's usually not jumping on, the, uh, on a Friday morning. So everybody's just chilling out right now. At least all the all the hardcore fans are hanging out. See Mavericks best servant movie. What's up, West Coast? Mavericks not bad. At least I heard it wasn't bad. We now have Song Rock in the ring for the co-main event. And now we have Mong Lakao. See, only hardcores watch one. Yeah, a lot of hardcore fans watch the Friday fight ones, but yeah, it's not a big casual casual getter. Why don't people watch this? I don't know. I don't know. If you notice, if you look at all the other streams, like they get more views in the Friday fights. A lot of people don't watch them. I don't know why. Maybe it's the timing or something. It's the lunatic. It is, man. They never get any views, even though they put on the best events. Let's see, never seen it. I'll check it out. It's good from what I've heard. I haven't seen it either, though, but I have heard that Maverick is pretty good. Oh, this is the motherfucker that wears the yellow polos and shit. I know what gym this is. It's... I, I don't think Sip... Poor Jor War is the name of the gym, but I know it's incorporated in the gym name. But whatever that gym is, I know what it is. This is where they wear them fucking golden shirts at. And now he's getting checked out. It is Mr. Mung Lakao. There's a good amount of people there, actually. They usually sell out Lumpany pretty well with this, with the, with these events. At least from what I've seen in the ratings, I believe, like in Thailand, I believe one is surpassed like RWS and Fairtex and some of the bigger like uh, Muay Thai promotions out there is like number one. So yeah, one is like running the show out there now, which is pretty crazy. Let's see, best shows worth waking up for super early. Absolutely. Definitely are. The fact that it's on YouTube is another thing. Like, if the if the card wasn't available on YouTube, then yeah, there'd be a lot more people watching. But since it's for free on YouTube, you know, a lot of people are able to see it easier. And now introducing first. Alright, let's see what Song Rock's record is. 61 and 19, so that is 80 fights. That's not bad. Myanmar. Even though he trains out of Thailand. And Malakau's record is 150 and 39. Jesus Christ. 189 fights versus 80 fights. God damn. This guy's 109 more fights than his opponent does. That's insanity. Here we go. Sent to ring time. Touch gloves. And here we go. Let's see. Ready? Come on, ref. This is our main event. <laughs> Round one. Good high kick for Song Rock. 
low kick and a jab. Good low kick. Is this too early, people watching? Yeah, too early on a Friday morning, that is for sure. At least over in the States. That was way too low of a kick, by the way, but they're fine. One, two, three, four, now for Song Rock. Low kick for Song Rock. Push kick for Song Rock and a low kick behind it. Almost, almost fucking another illegal low blow right there. Good high kick over Song Rock. Mangla Cal with a good kick to the body. One, two for Song Rock. Low kick for Song Rock. Hook to the body and a kick to the body by Song Rock. He's piecing up Mangla Cal so far. Ref is already calling for them to box more, even though Song Rock is being active. I think he's yelling at Monk Lacow to be more active. Song Rock with a low kick. Monk Lacow faking like he's going to go forward. There's a low kick he settles for. Now a low blow. What the fuck, Ref? Wait, what the fuck? Low blow. Injury time. I don't know where their clock's going to go, so I'll let it go down to a minute 30, even though their uh, they're fucking clock's probably going to keep on running. Let's see. How bad was this? Oh, God. That is flush. Rung about second. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Oh, he's fine. Right back. <clears throat> They touch gloves. They're back at it. High kick for Mung Lakau. One, two for Song Rock. High kick for Song Rock. Okay, so they did stop their clock. So let me let their clock run down a little bit. Low kick for Song Rock. Push kick for Song Rock. <clears throat> Mung Lakau being too patient. There we go. <clears throat> being way too patient. Three piece now for Song Rock. Good knees now. 2 3 for Song Rock as they break away. I give for Song Rock 2 3 4 piece. Low kick for Song Rock. Good jab for Mung Lakau. Mung Lakau with another low kick. 4 5 piece for Song Rock. Another kick for Song Rock. And a beautiful fucking jab. Now an elbow. Another elbow. Another elbow. Another elbow for Song Rock. Ref says stop. I'm gonna separate and go back at it. I gave a song rock two, three, four for song rock. Couple elbows. Two piece there for Mung Lakau. Upper cut for Mung Lakau misses. Good high kick for song rock. Oh, good job by song rock. He sends Mung Lakau down to the floor. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. Walk forward. He's gonna let him fight on. Oh, good jab! I saw a two, three, four, five. Oh, oh! Fucking Muglakal got knocked loopy into the ropes, and he's bleeding. Oh, that's bad. Oh my god, he's knocked out on the feet, but that's the end of the round. They're gonna let him finish anyway. That's crazy. He literally lifted his hands like here. Hold me before I fall. Oh my god. Fuck, man. Saved by the bell. Literally saved by the bell. Beautiful elbows by Song Rock. A jab. Another elbow. Mung Lakau was bleeding, too. He's getting his ass whooped right now. Oh! Jab is beautiful. Slick. Too early with the KO. I'm surprised they didn't call it a KO there. Oh, my God. Good elbow. Second round. Damn. Straight jab landed flush. Here we go. Round two. Come on, ref. Round two. Here we go. <clears throat> Here we go. Song Rock easy 10-8. High kick out the gate. Song Rock with a four-piece. Go with a six piece again. Go to high kick now. Double jab, three, four piece by Mung, by fucking Song Rock. High kick by Mung Lakau. 
High kick and a jab by Sung Rock. Mung Lakau with a jab, but Sung Rock meets him with a jab. Sung Rock with a kick to the body. Now a deep kick, three, four, five piece. High kick. Somehow Mung Lakau is not dead yet. Oh my God, that one landed flush on Mung Lakau. He may not have much defense left in him. Good high kick by Song Rock. Another high kick by Song Rock. And fuck that Mung Lakau missed. Another high kick for Song Rock. Another high kick for Song Rock and a jab. Jab by Mung Lakau. Good low kick by Mung Lakau. One, two, three by Song Rock. But a good counter by Mung Lakau. Low kick by Mung Lakau. High kick by Song Rock. High kick by Song Rock. Push kick by Song Rock. Two piece by Song Rock and a good knee. High kick by Song Rock. High kick by Mung Lakau. Mung Lakau with a nice two piece. Good jab by Mung Lakau. Nice jabs by Song Rock. Two, three, four, but fucking Mung, Mung Lakau is being overwhelmed here. Absolutely overwhelmed. Ref jumps in. Ref jumps in to separate. Elbow misses by Song Rock. Mung Lakau trying to fight his way back into this, even though he's getting beaten down here. Eye kick by Song Rock. One, two, three by Song Rock. Now a good one, two by Mung Lakau and a good knee. Both land knees. Ooh, good jab by Song Rock. Land a flush. Now they tie up. And they break away. Down to 50. 1 2 now for Mung Lakau. Another elbow for Mung Lakau. Sung Rock eating some uppercuts and an overhand. Shit. Rev is begging for them to just stop. Now he's going to separate them. Good hook and a jab for Sung Rock. Good high kick for Sung Rock. And to the body by Mung Lakau. High kick for Sung Rock. Two pieces for Mung Lakau. And a good hook and a good knee by Mung Lakau. And Sung Rock tries to throw him to the floor. It doesn't work. Rev is going to separate him. Rev is warning him. And now they break away and fight again. Ten seconds to go. I kick for Mung Lakau. I kick for Song Rock. Elbows for Mung Lakau and Song Rock with a nice high kick. And there is the end of the round. Almost threw a little after the bell combo there did uh, Song Rock. One to one. Let's see who you got, Jay. Probably gonna good. It was not a. It was a better round for Mung Lakau compared to his first, but I still think Sung Rock actually might be up to zero. Sung Rock might actually be up to zero. At least I'll give him two zero. I'm surprised Mung Lakau is not even dead. To be honest, he's somehow still in this. Oh man. Uh, outstriking him, Mung Lakau just throwing blindly one to one. I could see one to one, but I think Song Rock actually might have done enough to take the second. But I can see one to one, and I only say that because Song Rock, yeah, I think two zero also. Yeah, I can see one to one just because Song Rock isn't. I mean, uh, Mung Lakau isn't dead, but I think two zero might be the more appropriate score here because Song Rock. Did enough to win the second as well as the first. Obviously won the first, but the second, I think he still did enough. Now they both got to go for it. Mung Lakau's got to go for a knockout. Sung Rock needs to survive and control the round here. High kick. Two, three, four, five for Sung Rock. Mung Lakau is just eating this shit. I don't know how. Insanity. Going to the body, going to the head. Ref separates him. Ref says fight. Good knee and a good jab now for Sung Rock. Two piece for Mung Lakau. I kick for Sung Rock. Another eye kick for Sung Rock. Good jab by Mung Lakau though. Mung Lakau going with the elbow. Good elbow by Sung Rock. High kick by Sung Rock. Good jab by Mung Lakau. High kick by Sung Rock. Good knee by Sung Rock. Elbows by Mung Lakau. Good one two by Sung Rock. Three four five piece by Mung Lakau. I kick by Mung Lakau. One two by Mung Lakau now. Song Rock with a kick to the body. Damn! Hook to the body, hook to the head by Mung Lakau. But look at Song Rock firing back immediately. 
Cool knee by Mung Lakau. Another knee. And fucking Song Rock goes down like he's trying to go for a takedown there. But they call it a slip. Oh, no. They call it a knockdown. Wow. What? Seven. Eight. Wow. They call that a knockdown. Mung Lakai gets credited for the knockdown on that. Good. One, two, three, four. Now by Song Rock. Mung Lakau with some knees. Another knee by Mung Lakau. Oh, and now goes Song Rock. Now goes Song Rock. It's over. It's over! Comeback win for Mugla Cow is complete! Oh my god, what a comeback! What a comeback! Are you kidding me, man? Fuck, what a finish! What a beautiful finish! Oh my god! You fucking kidding me? Fucking comeback KO of the card right there. God damn. Fuck, man. Oh, good hooks. There was a knee. Another knee. Another knee. And he fucking went down. That uh, that was definitely an... Oh, my God. Right on the face in the fucking temple. Oh. Just crumbled him, man. Goodness. Goodness. Knee after knee to the body to the head. He couldn't take it. Almost got kneed on the way down. Oh, shit. Take your ass back to Burma for rain. <laughs> Great finish to Zan William. Absolutely. That was beautiful. Beautiful finish. Damn, that was beautiful. Those knees were just nasty. Nasty ass knees. Creates a beautiful finish right there. A filthy finish, that is. Give that man 50k, even 100 if you want. He's going to get his 350k, him and his fucking golden polo shirt right there. Good shit. Now that was main event worthy right there. I see why they switched it up. The one time where a switch up actually worked. I don't hate it at all. Good shit. Just like that, folks. Unanimous decision. Hung Sook won. Mung Lakau with the comeback knockout finish of the card. Batong with a win. Jack with a KO. Sexan with a KO. Uh, unanimous decision for uh, Pantep. Yo, Lafa with a split. Unanimous for Elias. Split for Dabdam. Unanimous for Tong. And then TKO for Adel- uh, for Nermatov, excuse me. In the first MMA fight, well, the second one. And in the first, TKO for uh, Dewey Shiev, I guess is how you say that. And they gave him 350,000 baht for that shit. Absolutely crazy. Well, Jay, it was fun, man. See you for the animals tonight, probably tomorrow. Hell yeah, Paul, man. I'll see you later, bro. Always great to see you for these cards, my guy. Have a good day, my dude. And remember tonight, I'll be live for Bellator. 7.15 probably at the latest. Uh, but 7 o'clock, 7.15. Be live around then. Should be a good card nonetheless. Then, of course, tomorrow... Glory Collision, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And then, of course, Vittori Cannoneer tonight. Well, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock is when that starts. Zoo and Ocampo ran for that 10 p.m. So I will see you guys all tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves today. Probably going to be the best card of the day is what we just witnessed. It's all downhill from here, unfortunately. <laughs> all downhill from here. But, hey, it will still be fun. I will see you all tomorrow. And until then, hold on. Get the music going and shit. Here we go. Until then, folks, I'm gone.